guys. Absolutely, absolutely. Have a moment of it's silence, guys. guys. Kind yeah. of a disturbing image. Yes, it is. All right, let's take a look back at how we got to the final eight. Check it out. Here we go. I really expect it to be just a bloodbath. Virgin Gaming and 343 first began working together in January, and we ran an, a competition called the Infinity Challenge. Uh, great success. So we decided, let's do another one over the summer, and we came up with the Global Championships. It kicked off July 4th weekend at RTX in Austin, Texas, and then the last event was at Gamescom in Germany uh, to bring the top 100 Halo players in the world to PAX in Seattle for the Global Championship Finals. He's only one kill behind fourth place. He's got 25 seconds to try to go for it, oh! getting the double kill as well! And a great run there. It was so hard to make it here. There's six, when it came down to today, 64 players left. I knew there was going to be eight left after today. I knew coming in today, I needed to make it to that final eight. And this is about bringing together, you know, all of the best Halo players in the world and settling it once and for all. Who's who's the best Halo 4 player? I came in really confident. I've always been very good at free for all, individually. I actually knew I was going to make it to the top eight at least. I practiced for about a week for this and I'm just surprised I'm doing this well. It's all I've been thinking about ever since I heard about the event. It's been on my mind nonstop. You know, I'm so excited. Uh, it was a long day today. 64 competitors started the day off. I made it to the final eight, so I'm tired, exhausted, but all in all, I'm excited for tomorrow. On Sunday, those will be the final eight players on the main stage, live stream in front of the huge crowd, uh, and one person's gonna walk away with $200,000 in a first place grand prize. $200,000? First thing I do is I take half of it and I put it directly in my mom's bank account. Probably buy a car. Not a good one. Just the one that gets me to point A, point B and has good gas mileage. Now you're going to have that fifth place spot Contra. He's able to drop one, 27 kills here on the board. They just got to focus and play their game, right? And react in the moment. And it's going to come down to who can maintain that, that like razor edge of focus and, and just be predicting what everybody else is going to be able to do in the match. Because when you start, you know, getting too nervous, and you start panicking, you just everything gets downhill. It's just not good. It'd be insane if I was able to win, be named the Halo 4 Global Champion. Winning this would just be so much different. It would be so monumental for me. It would be what I've worked for for a while. Like this is, this would put a stamp on it. To have that title, and you know, it's it's about pride at the end of the day as well to be the one. Time to drop a beacon. Please welcome the evening's first musical performance, Mega Ran and Kay Murdoch. Everybody stand up! Yes! Let's get yes. ready for Halo, yes. everybody! Yes. Make yes. some noise! Yes! Yes! Somebody yes. say yes. Halo! Halo! Come on, y'all! Yeah, it's time to lace them up. This is not a drill. Get me feared for years, I guess it's finally real. This is not a drill. Death God 4. Ancient enemy returns for an encore. We gon' check the curtains and make this the final act. Survive without a scratch, everyone I'm on attack. Kill him with overkill, a soldier's oldest skill. Lay your life on the line so that we know it's real. This is the covenant, I'm not in love with it. I'm taking very concise, I gotta run with it. It's his punishment that we finish the fight, but new danger arrives. We end it tonight. This is the covenant. I'm not in love with it. The plan is clear, concise. We gotta run with it. It's his punishment, but we finish the fight. New danger arrives. We end it tonight. In the heat of the battle, and now it's me and my team. They send a threat that can only throw I see in my dream. Enemy in my sights, though now we cock and squeeze. No time for coming, please. No, no, that's not my steez. On point, my partner is watching my six. I look back at these apps, not in the mix. It's worse fear, being all alone. In the middle of the most hostile zone. Wanna bring my boys home, but the intensity making me wonder if this was meant for me. I heard war was hell, and then we all go eventually. Ain't nothing changed, it's been going on for centuries. Bitches say if we never, we thought we'd dream of quitting. It's like the coldest unwritten, most dangerous mission of your own thoughts and nightmares. 
Enemies don't fight fair. So it's said like the end. No, it seems like we right there. Lost all light. Back against the wall. Fighting for my life. Back against the wall. Fighting for my life. Everybody put a hand up in the air. Let's go. Let's go. This is the covenant. I'm not in love with it. The plan is clear and concise. I got to run with it. Intense punishment. But we finished the fight. A new danger arrives, but we in it tonight. This is the covenant. I'm not in love with it. The plan is clear and concise. We got to run with it. It's this punishment, but we finish the fight. New danger will rise. We end it now. Say halo. Halo. Yes. senior citizens? I'll tell you exactly how I did it, numb nuts. Training, focus, and most importantly, preparation. Preparation? That's right. Sarge always says success is 99% preparation and 1% determination. And a half gallon jug's worth of perspiration. Oh yeah. Yes, but I always leave that part out because it's mathematically incorrect. And kind of gross. So what did you do to get prepared? I've been playing Halo 4 non-stop since they announced the tourney. I haven't even paused once to sleep. Pete, or tell Simmons here to quit brown nosing. Excellent job, sir. Shut up, you kiss ass. Yes, sir. Well, looks like you thought of everything. Indeed I did. But let this be a lesson to you, Griff. A-B-P-Y-S-I. Always be prepared, you stupid idiot. Now come on, Simmons, let's go. Huh, won't start. Looks like we're out of gas. So I guess you weren't totally prepared after all, eh, Sarge? <laughs> you wish, dirtbag. That's why I have the half-gallon jug of perspiration for just such an occasion. What? That's real? I thought it was disgusting when it was just an expression. You're putting that in the Jeep? That's right, boys. My sweat is an even higher octane than diesel fuel. And it's worse for the environment. We'll be there in no time. Hey, it works. Of course it does. See you later, Orangina. Yeah. Yeah. That was not the way I wanted to find out that jug I've been drinking out of wasn't filled with country time lemonade. I'm gonna go throw up for a few hours now. All righty, the tournament kicks off in just a minute, but right now it's time to meet your play-by-play -play team. Yeah, behind us, these two impeccably dressed gentlemen up here. Those aren't rental suits, by the way. They own those suits. They brought those. Oh, from 343 Industries, we've got Andy Bravo Dudinsky and shoutcaster extraordinaire, Mr. Alex Golden Boy Mendez. Let's give it up. Thanks, guys. We're down here on the floor. Alex, we had many competitors enter, but today only eight remain. Oh, man. Insane. I, I can't even begin to put it into words. I mean, we had 64 competitors on Saturday. Everyone wanted an opportunity right here just to sit right there to play for that $200,000. But only eight remain. And, man, I am so pumped for this one. Right, and we've got some big names in the finals. The first I want to talk about is Formal, uh, a player who really established himself throughout Halo 4 as one of the best players. That's right. Formal actually a part of a Team Ambush, by the way. A very talented uh, Halo 4 team player. But on top of that, you have to, you know, he's a beast, honestly. Like, And he's one of the guys that could very well take this one, like all eight competitors. But this guy, he has all the capability. Right, another player I'm watching is legit, of course, a player who really established himself as a dominant 4v4 player throughout Halo 2, and really since has been on top of the world in terms of Halo. Yeah, legit is a, you know, and a veteran in the scene, and I expect big things out of him. But you know who else I'm looking forward to? It's Cloud because Cloud is an FFA god. He is a very talented free-for-all player, and I think, it's, uh, I think it's his time to finally take one home. Right, and speaking of free-for-all players, Pistola, a player who established himself as a dominant free-for-all player, and obviously a crowd favorite here, uh, I would not be surprised to see him in the grand finals. Honestly, Pistola is loved by many people, and you know, he really does want to you know, get a good car, so right. I, I hope it works out for him. As do I. Let's go ahead and take a look at our bracket. Of course, the flow of this tournament is going to be, we look Look at these top eight competitors. That's going to break out into the final four. Of course, throughout that first match, we're only looking at the top four who are going to advance. 
ranks fifth through eighth will go home with their prize money. After those next two final 1v1s, we're gonna have a grand final. The winners will then play for $200,000. The pressure is on, man. And you know what? I'm really excited for this. And let's go ahead and take a look at the top half of that, uh, that pool there. Sure, we've got Cloud, Pistola, Formal, and Enable. As we said, any of these four players could be taking home the grand prize. That's right, and on the bottom portion of the bracket, we have Contra, Straight Sick, Legit, as well as Ace. That's right, and the first mode today is gonna be eight player free-for-all. Oh boy, I'm excited for this one, man. Free-for-all, anything can happen in a free-for-all game, Type, and we all know that many people at here play free-for-all, and they know just how wild it could be, but of course, it's an eight player free-for-all, 12 minute time limit, unlimited score to win. And that's right, they're gonna have four weapons at their disposal disposal, the battle rifle, the light rifle, the DMR, and the carbine. Really look for players to take advantage of that battle rifle. It is going to be a fan favorite without a doubt as, uh, you know what, you look for players to take advantage of that open ramp on Haven. Yeah, definitely the key area on Haven. Let's take a look at this map, which will be our first battleground of the day. That's right, Haven is going to be awesome. It is one of the most popular maps in Halo. Look for players to really take advantage of that top mid area using that pillar in the middle. That's right, plenty of ways to access that top middle area. That's right, top mid is a, it's going to be a focal point, but you got to talk about the bolt shot down at the bottom. Players are going to be looking to go after that. Look for them to be converging down at the bolt shot from the Mohawk, and on top of that, look for them to take advantage of that ramp area as well as they try and climb their way up to the top mid like we talked about before. That's right. They want to take advantage of all the verticality that Haven really offers, and it sounds like we're actually ready to get this match underway. I am I'm beyond excited. Are you guys excited? That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely. Oh, boy. So here we go. We're ready to get this gameplay underway. Uh, I can't wait to see who's going to take first place in this first eight match free-for-all. And remember, guys, first four will be advancing to the 1v1s, which are going to be absolutely insane, Bravo. I mean, the pressure that these players must be feeling right now as they sit on this stage with all these people watching and also the hundreds of thousands of people watching an Xbox Live back at home, the pressure is definitely going to mount on them. Yeah, it sounds like we're ready to get this game started. Uh, we'll get it going, and we'll see which four players, of course, uh, it's all going to be about that fourth and fifth place. Which player is going to be able to advance to those 1v1s? If they're able to do so, they'll still be in the running for $200,000. Uh, but if they got in that bottom fifth through eighth placing, that's going to be the end of the road. Yeah, it's all about the bubble. You guys are going to hear us talk about that a lot, right? And like you said, that fourth and fifth, that's actually how a player like Contra managed to make his way in, as well as Cloud. Cloud was a guy who kind of just sailed in that fourth place area throughout all of Saturday. And let's hope his luck hasn't worn out just yet, because he's definitely going to need it this time. That's Right, and that's all he really has to do, of course. The first and fourth place players in this match are going to be playing against one another, and the second and third finishers will be playing against one another. The winners of those two matches will then play in the grand final. So I think uh, we just have a few little technical difficulties getting ready on this stage, uh, getting ready to go, players setting up their profiles. But let's keep talking about Haven, the strategy that's used on that map. Haven, not traditionally a free-for-all map. So we're going to be looking for players to kind of use different strategies, take advantage of that open ramp area. Yeah, you know, I, I think the, the fun part about Haven, it, it is one of the most popular maps. So it's going to be immediately identifiable to anyone who's watching here. You know, if you hopped on Halo 4, you know you played a couple games of Haven. And you know how that map flows, right? You're going to see a lot of action down at that bottom middle area. And while top middle is equally as important, bottom middle has always just been a point of interest for players in, uh, you know, just anyone competing in Haven. That's right. All right, Golden Boy, this match is now underway. We have the loading screen coming in. I cannot wait to see which players are going to advance through here. And the first point of view that we're going to kick off with is going to be Cloud over on Station 1. I can't wait to see what he could do. As we said, a player who snuck by each round, fourth place after fourth place. If he does that once again in this round, though, he'll stay in for the Four one versus five. one matches. All right, well, here we go. We're going to be kicking things off here with Cloud. Of course, he's going to find a player right in front of him. That's going to be a legit nail in one kill right away. Another one right by the bottom middle area there. Let's see if he's going to be able to take him out. But it seems like he's going to just stay around here right by that open ramp area like we talked about before in the postgame, a pregame. That's right. Now, we're going to expect to see players playing as aggressive as they can. Throughout the weekend, these players were playing eight-minute free-for-all matches. This match, however, is a 12-minute game, so a little bit more of a marathon. That's right. And, you know, you can have some leeway in the beginning, Bravo, because, you know, while obviously you want to be in first place, you want to try and hold that down for as long as you possibly Ooh, can. Oh! Looks like Cloud falling victim to that ledge right there. Of course, wielding that battle rifle. As we said, the go-to weapon, really the utility weapon for yep. competitive Halo gameplay since its debut in Halo 2. I'd love to see what Pistola is up to. We've been talking about him all weekend long. A player who's so dominant. And the crowd, it sounds like, wants to see what Pistola is up to as well. Let's switch on over to him. All right, well, here you go. Pistola on your screen. And, of course, he's going to be looking around here, see if he can find one player. Actually, locates one. He is going to find Formal down by the bottom area. Is he going to be able to take him out? No, he is not. As 
says that was going to be a really close BR battle, and Formal manages to edge him out on that one. Yeah, as we see, Cloud now taking the lead, 6-2. to two. Pistola only able to get two points so far. That's going to put him in seventh place. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, like I said before, it's still early, very much early in the game. He's able to take one, out, one player out with a grenade kill, can't follow up the double kill, but it was a valiant effort nonetheless. And let's see what Pistola is going to be doing off the respawn here, of course, making his way through open ramp. Players are going to be spawning there quite a bit because of the, uh, the, the way the map is designed and enables going to be right down by the open ramp. Pistola moving Ooh. in. He can't seem to lock that one down. He tried to take advantage of the uh, grenade there at the beginning. Did not pan out in his favor, Bravo. As we continue to follow Pistola here, finding Space Stick right in front of him. Able to take him out there. Finally put one down on the board there as he takes out Straight Stick. He's going to be in fifth place right now. And I tell you what, Formal is now in second place. He's only down by one kill. I'd love to switch over to Formal in just a second. See what he's up to uh, over there, over on Xbox 3. All right, well, here we go. We have Formal on your screen. Of course, he was just taken out. The good old caster's curse, but he's tied for first place. Finding a player right by the Mohawk. That's going to be Cloud. Taking him out over there. And now looking for that top mid player. But Insane he's going to find one right by bottom Blue Street. And he puts the shot down. Not able to close that one out. Straight Stick going to go for the Ooh. challenge. Straight Stick end up winning that battle there. That was a good win for Straight Stick. And like we said in that pregame intro, top middle really the epicenter of all the action here on Haven. Yeah, the top middle is just so crazy, man. You're always going to see crazy, you know, the insanity. But again, I, I do want to highlight that a lot of these players have been avoiding the bottom middle, which has been quite interesting. They haven't been really going for the bolt shot, more relying on their, uh, uh, you know, just on their BR skills to pave the way for them here. That's right. Now, Cloud, Ace, and Formal switching in this first spot. Let's see what Ace is up to in just a second. He's now tying these players as Formal gets the lead with 11 kills. Yeah, Formal a little close there. He's actually going to have no shield. He does have Ordnance on the ready, though, Bravo. If you were in this situation, actually, he could go for the double Ooh. kill. Oh, he's got actually a toss to grenade player. He's going to go for the challenge. And the has going to go down. That's going to be the double kill there for Formal. But unfortunately, Formal is going to fall off the map, but it's not going to cost him yeah, all that much. Formal going for the fadeaway jumper there. That puts him in the lead, uh, 13 to 12. A nice job. Just under nine minutes left in the match. That's right. So around this time, it's going to be normal free-for-all time. But Formal get lucky, finding a couple garbage kills, but he is not able to follow up that other one right by that platform. So Formal off the respawn. Let's see what he's going to be doing here. Of course, finding a player right off the spot. It's going to be Enable. Enable able to take him out there. Yeah, Enable with a really nice shot. Maintain that fourth place. If you want to see what Enable's up to, he's only down by three kills. Really not that far out of the match just yet. All right, actually, I think let's go ahead. Hop on board with Enable. Let's see what he's going to be bringing to the table here. Yep, we're now on board with Enable off the respawn. We'll see what decisions he makes. Once again, spawning on the bottom of the open ramp. Yeah, and you can see right there the pressure, but Pistola is going to get taken out. There was some cross there, bear that in mind. So that kind of worked out in the favor of Enable, able to pick up that one headshot. Two players gonna be around him, he's gonna have no shields Ooh. left, and he gets taken out by Legit. Yeah, really nice shots there from Enable, though. You saw he was kind of down in shields when compared to Legit. However, got a few extra shots. He's gotta be feeling confident. Yeah, you know, honestly, if you're in this bubble area right now, you know, like, okay, let's just take this one step at a time. What's fourth place? What is a fourth place standing? How many kills does he have? Okay, let's go ahead and make our way forward. That's what Enable's mindset is right now. Oh my goodness, excellent grenade slow. from Cloud. Yeah. there on the bottom yeah. of closed ramp really demonstrating how much he's played this map you got to think when players are using grenades like that they've played this map over and over and over again as they knew this would be one of the final game types in the tournament yeah and you have to be expecting where the player's going to be challenging from and there you can see right there formal actually they're going to get the trade so it still kind of worked out in their favor and able able to take out formal on that one but it was a valiant effort nonetheless. Let's go ahead. Who you want to jump on board with? And you know, I got to say, Legit has recently taken first place. We can't count him out. He's up 17 to 16. Amazing play for him, and it's really no surprise that he's doing so well. Yeah, you know, I think we definitely should hop on board with Legit and see what is going on with him. A veteran in the Halo scene, so I'm expecting big things as we hop on over to Legit. Let's see if Enable can follow that one up. Yeah, he Legit cannot. picks up that kill right yep. there. A nice job, but he does maintain that first place position. Now up 18 to 17. Yeah, you know, this is the time frame right now, right, where you still have that room, you still have that wiggle room. But still, you do not want to rest there. You want to continue to apply the pressure. And I think Legit's doing a pretty good job here of just kind of like staying out of trouble just for at least a couple seconds, getting his bearings together. He's going to get a great, great four right there. And that was going to be on eight. Finding another player right by that top mid area. It's going to be Pistola going for the challenge. Ooh. And he is going to get taken out by Pistola. Right, but he is up by two. As you said, Golden Boy, if you can establish yourself in the first or second place position heading into these 1v1s, it's really a big deal. You don't have to panic Ooh. heading into that bubble position. Nice job picking up that kill and using a really nice jump here to jump to the bottom of Blue Street. That's right. That's why these are some of the best players in the world. They study every single nook and cranny of the map. But legit, unfortunately, getting stuck in the crossfire, he is going to get taken out. And we just saw he had a 1.32 kill death ratio. Not 
too bad coming in from yesterday's matches. Oh, yeah, especially with how crazy yesterday was. I mean, all the games were absolutely insane, and they were so close apart. That's why you've seen these kill death ratios are pretty low, because these players are just so evenly matched. But nice up there by Legit. Can he follow it over to double oh. kill? And he cannot, as Pistola is going to come up on top of that one. But doing a nice job to keep him in first place. We'll see what Straight Six up to. I just saw that he moved into second place, only down by two kills. Straight Six is a player who has made his name in free-for-all. And you know what? It's only fitting that he's here competing at the Halo 4 Global Championships right now as we go ahead and hop on board with Straight Six. Yeah, now on board with him, as we said, in second place. He's going to want to maintain this spot. If he can do that, he'll comfortably be heading into those 1v1 matches. Yeah, and then the 1v1, that, that, that's when things get a little bit crazy. And, you know, honestly, Straight Six, I don't know how well he is in the 1v1, but this is the challenge right here. He has some formidable opponents caught right in front of him, able to take him out with a headshot. Another player near him right by that bottom Ooh. area, able to follow it up with a double kill. And the nade is going to take him out. Yeah, Still really nice. Good, good job by Really nice six. job there from Straight Sick, uh, one of the players who also made a name for himself in the world of free-for-all, competing uh, at various events around the country, and eventually merged into four versus four play. Picking up an, one kill and picks up a double kill. Let's see if he can turn three here. Kill. Triple kill for Straight Sick. Oh my God, what a play. They just fell in line for him. What a follow-up for him. Yeah, he now takes the lead 27 to 25. Oh. oh. The super combined there, the Needler, deadly, deadly weapon. Excellent job there. Actually, now someone has tied him for the lead. Just over four and a half minutes left in this first match of eight. I mean, if you get a triple kill, it's only fitting you get killed by a Needler, so it makes perfect sense. But Straight Sick is going to get taken out there, not before falling off the kill. And guys, remember, when you spawn in free-for-all, you want to be able to at least make every single life count. So you don't want to, you know, get taken out with no kills to your name. So he's able to pick up one kill. That's good progress for him. He follows up with a double kill. Straight Sick putting on a show here for the fans. Let's see if he's going to be able to follow someone up with another kill of his own. One player is going to be to his right, two to his left. He's going to see that one player on the lift there going for it, but that guy's going to get taken out. You saw that Ted Carcass just fly off to the side. And Straight Sick now going to have to move over to blue area. He's going to see the other player making his way up top. Let's see if he can follow this one up with a kill. He has no idea, but it's going to be an assist. Dropping down to the bottom mid area, finding Ace. Able to follow that one up, going for the double kill, and he gets taken out. That's right, so now we have Legit in second place, Straight Six still in first, and Enable and Formal both fighting for that third place spot. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the third place spot is great because, you know, you're kind of just like in this comfort zone. You're going to, remember too, it's going to be first playing against four, and then two going up against three in those 1v1s. So yeah. third place, not that bad of a spot to be in. That's right, we said Enable was in fourth place. We'll see if he can hold on to that position. Uh, that's really what he's looking cool. to do. He needs to make sure to get away from that fifth place player who is Ace. Yeah, and Straight Sick is just dominating right now. I mean, every time he, he comes up from respawn, he gets at least a double kill. I mean, that is just great numbers for him. Look at that. Look at the bank on the name there. He's going to follow it up with a double kill. Oh, oh, he gets taken out, but still, Straight Sick just taking full use of the map. Yeah, Ace holding on to that spot. Let's switch it over to Enable, who's now in that fifth place spot. Not sure if he's going to be able to hold on to that, but we'll see uh, if he can throughout the rest of this match. Yeah, let's go ahead and jump on board over with Enable now, as he knows that Straight Sick was probably going to be by the platform, but instead he's going to have to follow it up with a kill on Ace. Not able to do that there. And let's see what Enable is going to do off the respawn. So he spawns over by the ramp by the street area. He knows the player is going to be by platform, missing those nades. And bear in mind, a lot of players engage with nades in Halo because it's good to open things up with. Yep, he drops a six now. Ace now holding that fourth place spot right at 31 kills. Oh, nice. And he tried to juke him out there right by that pillar, but he was not able to make that one happen. As Enable off to respawn, he's going to be right by that Mohawk area, finding a player right by that ramp. He's going to drop down to the bottom. That could end up being an assist for Enable, unfortunately, as he was not able to follow that one up with a kill. There you can see right there on the screen, but that other player moving in there, able to find one. That's going to be a takeout, but he is going to get dropped right by the bottom middle. And now we're starting to see the action heat up as time is dwindling down. Right, Ace is still in that fourth place spot, and now Formal also has tied him for fourth. We want to switch over to Formal. Uh, we'll see what these players are able to do right now between Ace and Formal for the fourth place spot. Yeah, this is the bubble, and Enable was able to follow up with that kill, but let's go ahead and jump on board here with Formal, as Formal's going to find a player right by this crevice, and he is going to get taken out. That was going to be Ace, who's really been hanging out around that area, hasn't been able to get out. Yeah, he's now in fifth place, and it looks like Ace has 33. Formal is now down by two. We have less than two minutes left. Golden Boy, four of these players are going to be going home. This is insane. I don't know what to expect here, Bravo, but you know what? That thruster pack was there. He was going to pick it up. Let's 
let's see if he's going to take advantage of that one. And he's going to drop down, get one kill there. That's going to be a big win for him, awful legit. Remember, guys, he's going to be making his way up through this open ramp, expecting a player is going to be around him. And now he can actually see the dual screen action. The pressure is on. These two players are going to be in the bubble, fourth and fifth place, respectively. As Formal's actually dipping around the side, he's going to get taken out. Ace is going to find a player right in front of him. He's going to go for the charge there. And he can he get the melee. He manages to get the melee after Solo, but he is going to get taken out. And Ace is now going to be in the spot here because Formal. Oh, and actually, Formal got taken out as well. What a, uh, what a great spawn for Ace, able to find one player there at the melee. He's going to have no shields left, guys. 56 seconds left on the clock. Let's see what Ace can do. Yeah, Ace has 36 kills. That's moved him several places away from Formal, who is now in sixth place. And it looks like Ace still with a three kill lead over Contra, who's in fifth right now between Ace and Contra for fourth and fifth. Yeah, the pressure is on for Ace here as he's going to try and hold this one down. 40 seconds left on the clock. He's going to take out Pistola there with a drop. Now looking down bottom mid, finding an able aim to take him out. That's going to be a double kill. And let's go ahead, jump on board with Ace here and see what he's going to be doing as Ace off the respawn. Crutch is going to be on him. There's only going to be three kills separating him and the fifth place. Place player, yeah, that's but I think he might have this. Yeah, here we have Ace and Contra as fourth and fifth right now. Let's see, Contra still in fifth place, gonna try to move in. Formal in seventh, he won't have a chance, but Contra now needs to get three kills in the last 15 seconds. And we're back on board with Ace here. Yeah, and Ace just got taken out there. This is the con opportunity for Contra to be able to make something happen as he's gonna find one player. We're gonna have six seconds left on the clock. This is gonna be the opportunity of a lifetime here for Ace as he's gonna find one player around the corner. That's gonna be straight to get Ace is moving on to the next round of play. That's right, and you have two players on your screen. Formal and Contra moving away, and it looks like Ace now advancing. That is going to be your top four. An excellent play there from him. Oh my goodness. We're going to take oh a look at the post game stats in my just goodness. a moment. My goodness. That was amazing. Guys, give it up for them. Give it up. Give it up. That was. So intense, but let's take a look at the Carnage report. That's right, straight sick Pistola, legit, and Ace are your top four here at the Halo 4 Global Championship Finals. I don't think a more fitting four could have been done, but you gotta give a round of applause to Contra, Enable, Formal, and Cloud. They fought valiantly, guys. Give it up for them. It was such a hard road for them to get here. That's right, but hey, straight sick, I got your Pistola, legit, and Ace are gonna be the four wow. players moving on to our one versus one finals. <laughs> oh, man. I, I can't even begin to fathom what these four players are thinking right now. One step closer to $200,000. I, I mean, when we looked at that, how much of that action really was right around main ramp? Gonna take a look at some highlights from that past match. Pistola, one of the players who just seemed to, each time, Calm, cool, and collected. Yeah, I mean, Pistola, you know, he had some great plays here. He was able to take out a couple of guys, of course, as always, following up with a couple double kills of his own. But I think it was just his consistency with his VR that won him that victory. Yeah, I, I really love what Pistola was able to do because it seems like he's able to just sniff out where the action is going right here. I just see him picking up that double kill bottom middle and also hanging around bottom ramp. You see another clip from that game as a player was able to drop down middle and get that triple kill on Formal. Excellent shots there. That was gameplay right there from Straight Sick. Yeah, Straight Sick is just, you know, he dominated that entire game but of course you know right here you, you gotta always just say that the way that these players played ace he had his mind set on the prize he knew that he was going to be able to make this one happen and man just that was absolutely intense there what a great final for ace and that last kill from ace huge just securing that victory it was all about the top four separating themselves from the bottom four that's what we saw and now we've only got four competitors remaining i i'm just all a flutter right now but i know everyone here is excited i'm excited <laughs> Let's just get this one going. Bravo, what else do we have? Uh, right now, there's a lot more action in store tonight, uh, but right now we have our fifth member of the hosting team, Jessica Chobot, on the floor with our four winners. Thank you, Bravo. Hosting frenzy. Now, guys, eight have entered, four remain, and now I'm here with our semifinalists. Ace, you came in fourth and barely made it into the finals. How tense was that for you? It was really tense. In the beginning of the game, I uh, was getting mostly assists, but near the end, I started getting the kills I needed. Did you think it was going to happen? Uh, not at the beginning, but after about midway through the game, I was getting more confident and just clutching the right kills. Awesome. Well, congratulations, sir. Now, legit, or, yeah. <laughs> legit, you came in third. Who most impressed you out there? Uh, probably Straight Sick. Uh, he's just always on top of the game when it comes to free for all, and you know he played amazing. Any particular move that you're just like, oh my god, I can't believe he pulled that off. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, he just played, he just played consistently. <laughs> okay then. Well, thank you very much and congratulations. Now, Pistola, you were in second. Anyone you're gunning for in this next round? Uh, anybody I'm playing against, honestly. It's just, I just have a competitive drive to just try to win this whole thing. So, anybody? You gotta get that car, dude. 
I just, I, it's morally like I've helped out my parents and my family with a lot of the earnings from like these tournaments. So if I get $200,000, I can help them out even more. So. That is a very noble cause. Good for you. Well, congratulations. Now, Street Sick, you came in first. Do you think you're going to still have what it takes to dominate in the rest of this competition? Honestly, I think I do because I've been consistent with 1v1s before and I think I can take it. All right, now guys, question to all of you. You kind of already answered it. What are we gonna do with the 200K if you get it? Well, I'll definitely uh, help out my family a lot, uh, get a car, new car, and probably save money, you know, see what I can do with it, maybe invest in something. Very nice, man. <laughs> <laughs> We've got yours, helping the family and getting a car. Yeah, and, and saving up as much as I can. I'm gonna try to go to college and, you know, that just. I think you got to be safe with your money, you know? Very smart, very smart. Sir, what are you going to do with the 200K if you get it? Like I said, I'd give the majority of it to my mother. Um, I love her so much, and... You guys are the best kids. Like, I hope my son grows up to be as awesome as you guys. But yeah, other than that, um, just live, you know, live life, so... All right, you better have a good one now. <laughs> Usually. Uh, just invest some of it, pay for school, and give some to my parents. Fantastic. Well, guys, all right, you guys have to get ready for your next two 1v1 sets. Let's head back to Larry and Blair. All right, thank you very much, Jessica. We lost four players. Yeah, we did. But there's still $200,000 on the line for our remaining gamers. Yeah, and to put that in the perspective, that is 200,000 reasons to not get a job. Right. What? So what? great. No, yeah. no, no, no. 200,000. No, seriously. Go save up for college. <laughs> yes. Get a job. Good answers. Do the right thing. Uh, but really, this is a huge tournament, obviously, with a massive, massive payout. We're talking $300,000 in prize money. Yep. But it's really just the latest demonstration in Halo's commitment to esports. Take a look at everything they've done so far. Yep. Oh. That spirit of competition that drives human beings at their core. Yes! Oh my god, I won something! That's been expressed through Halo from the very beginning. Back then, you networked together Xboxes physically. A lot of people have these really fond memories of getting together with their friends in basements and having a literally social experience. Oh my god! So we've seen Halo really come from the basement to the ballroom, to the Halo 4 Global Championship Finals for a $200,000 first place prize. Since the launch of Halo 4, we've had an increased focus on competitive gaming. Part of our design process was to bring in pro players to guide some of the decisions that we made. Pro Halo players have an unrivaled understanding of competitive Halo. You're going to see players putting in 16 to 18 hours per day of non-stop gameplay. Woo, baby! I'm a grinder. I like to figure out the spawns, figure out how other people play. So I can predict what they're going to do before they even know what they're going to do. The interesting thing about esports is it becomes readily apparent where the skill level lies. So when we're designing the game, we're very intentionally trying to create something appealing to the hardcore competitive player as well as something that is accessible and fun for a broader audience. When we look forward to the launch of Xbox One, there's so many possibilities that come online that are applicable to competitive gaming. You've got things like live streaming, dedicated servers, we're gonna be able to take the game to 60 frames per second. We're thinking about not only how does the game play, but how does it look, and how can we make compelling experiences for both people playing and the people watching. When we look to the future of Halo, we're gonna to continue to take input from the competitive community. We've seen this year the competitive Halo community get a ton of momentum, and we're excited to recognize what those players accomplished over the past few months. For players to go head-to-head -head and compete in a game of skill, that's one of the hallmarks of Halo and will continue to be. All right, Larry. Yeah, well done. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you're still here. Hey, what's oh, up? Oh, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. Uh, Larry, I think it's, uh, it'd be an understatement to say that Microsoft is committed to esports, what we're seeing here, what Absolutely. we're seeing in the future, it indicates that you're going to do a lot of it. There are a ton of esports games coming to the Xbox One. Yes. But there are some that are a little more violent than others. There are, and we're really excited because I know you had a chance to catch up with Torn Reddick for yep. a closer look at the Xbox One exclusive Killer Instinct. I'm here with Torn Reddick. He's the producer on 
Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct, as evidenced by the shirt right there. Now, the first thing I want to talk to you about, you guys showed off a video at Gamescom, yeah. showing off a new character, but there was also something at the end of that video that teased somebody else. Can you yep. tell me a little bit about her? Yeah, okay, so um, that's uh, one of our new characters, yeah. Uh, we're, we're teasing her. We tease her at the end of the Thunder combo trailer. You get to see Thunder do a lot of crazy, insane, like, super combos using his, his new grappling style. And then we tease the new character. Um, she's, uh, she's brand new. She represents, like, a new fighting style uh, for, for Killer Instinct and for our game. Her techniques are aerial techniques. She wants to throw you in the air, keep you in the air, uh, move from air to ground and ground to air and just have a lot of mobility, mix you up, and do a lot of crazy cool stuff with her, you know, web spinning and all of her crazy spider styles. And let's talk about one of those special events. You brought Killer Instinct down to EVO, the most rabid fighting game genre fan base on the planet. Yeah. How, were you nervous when you brought it and how was the game received? Yeah, we were <laughs> nervous. I mean, it's one thing to be in the office and, and look at the game and have people around the office come by and say, wow, that looks awesome. Yeah. And we're like, yeah, we think it's awesome, but unless everyone else thinks it's awesome, then it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> right. So, we are, so we're taking it, we, we took it like extremely seriously when we take it to EVO. I mean, we take it seriously whenever we bring it to a trade show, but EVO's, you know, they're going to, they know fighting games inside and out. They're going to be able to call us if we're not, if we're not bringing it, right? Yeah. So yeah, it was super nervous, but we were really, really gratified and really, really happy that the response was so positive, that there were people who came up, you know, with, you know, some reasonable skepticism, you know. Game hasn't been out, you know, for 17 years, so, you know, are they gonna be able to do it right? And who are these guys? You know, so to see guys who come up, you know, with that kind of, that kind of uh, mindset, you know, come up, play the game, and then, play the game again, and then play the game again, and then they come away, and then they're true believers. Yeah. And then some of, some of them don't even leave. Like, guys, you, know, you gotta get out of here. Yeah, they're, yeah, it's like, well, no, no, we want them to stay. We want to get them to get better at the game and tell, every, tell other people about it. But they would stay and they get better at the game. They get better than us. It got to the point at EVO where there was one guy where we had to bring out our best guy in the studio, hardcore fighting game guy, to try to take him to try to take him down. And it even took him some effort to do it. I love and, that. Yeah. Oh, so listen, we got quickly one more thing though. Yeah. There's a, we are at PAX. It's all about surprises here, and there's a very unique addition that you guys have as well for this game. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have our combo breaker pack. You know, we have we have different editions of the game, right? So you can play you can play the game for free with one character. You know, rotates out. Um, and then you can and you can play that character all you all you want um, online multiplayer if you have gold and you can play all the single player content. Uh, then we have a combo breaker pack, which is all eight of the um, of our first wave of characters, um, six at launch and then two released later. Then we have our ultra edition, which is like super ultra. We wanted to give players something they could really get into. You want absolutely everything? We're going to be able. You're, we're going to give it to you full everything. So that's all eight characters. You know, again, six at launch. Two, um, two release later, um, costumes for each one of those characters. So eight new costumes for each one of those characters. Accessories for those costumes. So you'll be able to switch the accessories in and out. So like a sword for Jago or, or his mask or whatever. Right. Kind of mix and match, be able to customize that character. And uh, the original arcade Killer Instinct uh, emulated all in that one package. So basically the best deal of video game deal in the history of the world. We think so. All right. We think it's Great. awesome. And we're talking day one launch title, correct? Day one launch title, yes, absolutely. Oh, well, that's a day one purchase for me, my friend. Thanks so Excellent. much for talking to me, Thank brother. Thank you very much. All right, don't, don't go anywhere because we are dangerously close to our first 1v1 semifinal match. That's right, but while we get set up, you voted, and because we're nice people, we delivered. Here's your first Xbox Live selected community pick trailer. Watch this.
a good trailer. Oh, absolutely. All right. Trailer. Round one is in the books, and we've narrowed the field from eight contenders down to four. Yeah, to four people that are going to buy cars for themselves and help their parents. We could not have a lovelier final four. Absolutely. Such nice kids. Uh, and to get things ready for our first semifinal match, we are once again turning things over to our gloriously handsome commentators, Bravo and Golden Boy. Gentlemen, take it away. Play by play, guys. Thanks, Blair and Larry. <laughs> Our next game mode of the day, Golden Boy, is going to be 1v1. Yeah, I mean, you know, a one versus one is, is very, very intense, just so you guys know. I mean, you're going to get that first kill, and then, you know, the first mindset might be, oh, I got to hide, right? But their power weapons on the map, and you really do need to pick those up, because if you don't, then your opponent would, and they're going to take advantage of it. Right. Not only that, but they're also going to get that first kill, probably the power weapon, and also map control. It's so important to come aggressive out of the gate. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, obviously, one versus one is always just that very pressure-filled scenario. But you know what? We do have some rules, so let's go ahead and talk about them. Real That's quick. right, of course. One v one, slightly different from the free-for-all match that we just played. That's right. You know, of course, guys, it's going to be a one versus one situation, and it's a ten-minute time limit with first to ten kills. That's right, and of course, the same four weapons at their disposal, the light rifle, the DMR, the battle rifle, and the carbine. Yeah, I expect a lot of people to use that uh, BR, but you know what, though? I'm a big fan of the carbine. I'm hoping that it's busted out at some point in time, because if it is a very quick kill time, of course, with the players really take advantage of the top middle area, and the winner will advance to the finals at a guaranteed $75,000. That's right, of course, winning this match does guarantee you $75,000 and a chance at $200,000. We've got two players on the stage right now, the first of which is the first place player, Straight Sick. Yeah, Straight Sick just dominated in his free-for-all game in that one that we just saw. Of course, you know, he played, I would say, let's say he played okay, you know, I mean, netting himself first place. And of course, you know, I, I think he had just some solid performance throughout the entire weekend just because he is known as an FFA guy. And I think that the 1v1s, he might be feeling a little confident. But I'm just not entirely sure because of this guy right here. Yeah, Ace, look at the numbers that he put up yesterday. 122 assists with a 1.53 kill-death ratio. Huge numbers from him. That's right. I mean, you know, you have to think about it, though. Assist, that means you got your kills stolen. So hopefully he can follow it up here. But it didn't mean that he had a lot of encounters. So that actually should work out pretty well for him. He's pretty good at that. And, of course, the battle is going to be on Skyline. That's right. Part of the majestic map pack and the smallest map in Halo 4. Skyline is going to be the battleground for all of our one versus one matches today. Oh, yeah. Skyline is an awesome map. If you haven't had a chance to play it, you know, you're doing it wrong. But, of course, guys, look for players to be taking advantage of that top middle area and the pillars for cover. They're going to be going from the ramps and, of course, making a hop and skip away over to the top middle as well. Right, so many strategic jumps on this map. Each player is going to spawn right here in the base on the X. Look for them to head out any of the doorways, but probably that bottom middle area, area heading straight for the concussion rifle. Yep, and there you see it, the concussion rifle. It is deadly. It's an explosive plasma weapon, so look for players to go for that right off of the gate. All right, they're going to grab that and most likely head right up the airlift, get top middle control while they have the most sight lines on the map. Yeah, it is, a, you know, obviously you want to make sure that you're going to get full control of that concussion, and of course you have to time it too. So keep that in mind. These players are going to have to have a lot on their minds. And the bolt shot too. You can't forget about that close range uh, disaster deadly close me uh, weapon. That's right. Located on the bottom of the map next to the cargo crate. You can also lift up top middle pretty quickly or yep. use the cargo crates to get back up to the second level. Yeah, I'm really seeing. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing if any players pick up the bolt shot this time around because they really did it in the free for all. But this weapon as well, the kneeler, we saw it used in the free for all. Maybe it might be used again. It is a deadly power weapon, guys. You can see right there, the super combined. That's what it's all about. Yeah, it sounds like we also got some Needler fans in the room. So Skyline is going to be the first map for our one versus ones. Uh, any last thoughts before this match right here, Golden Boy? I don't know, but I want to know. Are you guys excited for the first 1v1? I think, uh, I think they speak for us in our excitement levels. Let's go ahead and uh, kick this one off. Let's get underway. We have Ace in red and Straight Sick in blue. These two players are going to be playing against one another for a guaranteed top two finish. Yeah, man, and I just... So nervous right now. Of course, after this, we're going to have to stolen and Brian play, but let's wait. We're going to talk about Corey Sloss and Aaron Elam, Straight Sick and Ace. That's right, Straight Sick going up against Ace. The winner of those will play against the winner of Pistola and Legit later on in the show. Yeah, and uh, like we've been saying time and time again, the winner's going to get guaranteed $75,000. That is way too much money, dude. <laughs> I, that's like, I mean, that's just second place. That's insane. Indeed, now the gameplay is starting underway. We're now jumping in, and we're going to be starting it off over here with Ace's point of view. 
All right. Well, Ace, of course, is a, uh, a very well-known player in the scene. And you know what? Let's see what they're going to do off the break. It Semi -final. seems like Ace uh, opting to go one. right for that concussion. Let's see. Now, it's instead going up top middle, straight stick finds Ace in the first engagement of the map. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Right there. Straight stick falling victim. Both players, rather than pushing up top middle, instead Ace able to grab that first kill. Ace, of course, the player in red. Now he's got the concussion rifle in hand. Now, remember, guys, it's about that prediction on the spawn as well. So look for Ace to do that. As you can see, both players on your screen pulling up that uh, two view there. Let's see here as the pressure obviously is going to be on. Ace with that concussion rifle. He's going to find him right in front of him. Throwing down the shots. Nade's going to fly out too, but I don't expect him to challenge as he's going to have to go around this wall here. And Straight Stick is in a bit of a pickle. Of course, Ace with that concussion. And he's going to be looking to move in, but Straight Stick, no fear, as he's going to make his way over. He knows Ace is there. He knows he's trapped. Ace is going to be one shot. He has no grenade, Straight Stick, so he's going to make his way forward. And can he follow it up? Oh. Yes, he's able to take him out there. That was going to be a big headshot win for him. That's right. Straight Stick now ties up the match one to one. What a big difference. Rather than going down two kills to zero, he's now tied it up with just under nine minutes left in the match. Yeah, and, you know, I do feel like Ace did not take a good advantage of that concussion rifle because, you know, he really should have predicted that he was going to push him. I think he was just more focused on the fact that he's probably going to jump over that ledge there as we go ahead and jump on board with Straight Sick. Let's see what's going on with him. Yeah, we're now on right here on board with Straight Sick. Now trying to find Ace. One grenade to go past him. Ace getting the first shot in the battle. Ace, oh my Ooh. goodness. Straight Sick there punishing Ace for engaging first. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, when you think you have that opportunity, you think you have that chance to challenge them, it just, you have to make sure your BR is steady. But wait a minute, Straight Sick finding Ace. As Ace actually threw down a couple shots, was not able to connect, but he was able to follow through with the second one now. As uh, Straight Sick actually going to have to drop back here and play this one a little slower. Let's see what he's going to do here. As he's actually going to hang out in the corner. A little, little camping action, a little crouch camp action. Bravo. Yeah, we'll see if uh, anyone comes around this corner. Oh, and there he is. And he finds Ace, gets two shots. Ace stays left. A two straight shot sick wins a two shot melee. Goes up three to one. I know Quinda Hoyle is happy right now. <laughs> oh, man. And that was insane. As it, I thought it wasn't going to work out for him like that. Oh, he's just going to waste his time in the corner, but now the pressure is going to be on Ace Straight Sick putting on a show. And you know that Straight Sick knew that that corner he was in, and I think we want to switch over to Ace, who does have the Needler in hand now, pursuing Straight Sick. Now going to try to push up the ramp. Thought he was around that corner. Straight Sick winning that mind game, puts his shots in. Both players at equal shields to see who can land this final headshot. This is going to be insane. Straight Sick going to creep around the corner, but Ace. Ace was not ready for that, man. He just is not ready for the engagement. Straysick is catching him off guard constantly. And Ace took a guess there. He made a bet, thought he was around the corner. It turns out Straysick had already gone down the hallway. Straysick now goes up four kills to one. Only seven minutes left in the match. That's right. And remember, I mean, concussion rifle. It's up. It's right there. It's right, right for the picking. Let's see if he's going to go for it. Or is he going to wait for Ace to move into it? Because Ace needs this more than him. And Straysick has grabbed it. As you see, that ordinance indicator is gone. But Ace has eyes on Straysick. Just ran up yeah. those stairs. Ace now in pursuit. Yeah, so now Ace, of course, looking around here. Let's see here as Ace is going to creep around the corner. He's going to look around, and the pressure is on as both of these players are going to be near each other. There's the encounter as oh. Ace. Oh, it's a My trade. My goodness, Ace landing the fourth shot to get the trade. But of course, that's perfectly fine with straight stick. He goes up five to two. Yep, that is. I was just about to say that. You stole the words from uh, you know out of my mouth, Rao. Oh, and let's see here. It did, it did actually Ace pick up that bolt shot? I wonder if he's going to take advantage of that. But it, he did identify him cross map. Straight stick actually going to move around there and just you know get out of the get out of the action. Right, both players are a little bit hesitant to get to top middle. Of course, we're now on board with straight stick. These players are a little bit hesitant to go all the way up there because Wallet does have a ton of sight lines. He's now got that assault rifle out looking for that close range combat. It's also very open top. Middle. As my good friend Gosiami says to Sauce, he's going to get ready for it. He's going to run up close to him and he is just going to rain death on him with that assault rifle. If he finds him in his sights, it could be over. That's right now, just under six minutes left in the match. Straight six, got to be feeling confident with a five to two lead. He can afford to take some chances. Lands the first three shots on Ace, and Ace has not returned fire yet. That's right, Ace actually is going to be no shields there. As Straight six is going to go in for the engagement. Ace is going to be around the corner. He didn't end up finding him. Straight six making his way and going for the assault rifle. Oh! did not believe that just happened. I thought he had him. Yeah, Ace stays right there. Now moving on board here, uh, staying with Ace now, pushing on, trying to get this kill. He might make it five to four. Let's see if he can. He's one shot. He creeps around the corner. Oh my God, I, mean, I can't, my goodness. Oh, wait a minute, he's right around the corner. Ace gets the kill. He's got five to four, Bravo. Oh my Lord, I 
cannot believe this. That's right, five minutes left in the match. Ace was just down five to two. We were talking about how Straight Sick has to be feeling good. Now it's a one kill game. I, I can't believe that this is happening. Ah! Championships for our first 1v1. Oh, That's right. If you're just joining us, these players are playing for a potential $200,000 and a guaranteed $75,000. This is insane. So now, as you see, Ace has a bulk shot moving in. Oh, and he gets taken out. The battle rifle comes out on top. Six to five, straight sick with the lead. An excellent play there now, straight sick. Uh, just dodging that bolt shot. Ace oh, throwing man. his head back in front of Razor, but finds Straight Sick off the spawn. My land is Bailey. And ties him up. Six to six. You couldn't have asked for a better one. And Ace has the concussion. Keep that in mind. Ace with the concussion. Straight Sick knows he has it because that indicator went away. And Straight Sick's going to look around for him. He knows he might be creeping around that corner. We're going to go ahead and hop on board Ace here who has power weapon control. And he's going to wait and see if he's going to creep around the corner. But they're actually going to be near each other. But Straight Sick may have the upper hand if he finds him, but no, he is not. So, and Ace. I, and I tell you what, Ooh. Golden Boy, with this concussion rifle, Ace can afford to go. Here we go. go. Straight Sick gets it weak, puts it on the concussion Gosh, rifle, yeah. and gets and the go. kill! Decides to keep the concussion rifle out, calls in an ordinance right there. Oh my goodness, calls in a hologram. I love yep. that decision right here. Oh, but Straight Sick stayed, not hitting. Oh, oh my oh. goodness, Straight Sick catches him off spawn. So much happening there. Ace deploys the hologram. It doesn't work out for him, though. We're tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Bear in mind, Straight Sick actually picked up the thruster pack from his ordinance. So let's see if Straight Sick and how he can take advantage of it, because we've seen some players really do some awesome things with the thruster pack. That's right now, 3.30 left in the match. Both these players on edge. As a reminder, if you're just joining us, welcome. 7-7, seven to a seven. little bit of time left in this match. These players are playing 10-minute time limits and up to 10 kills. So not only is there only a few minutes left, the first player to get to 10 would also win the match. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you couldn't have asked for a better first matchup here. And it seems like an encounter was made as Ace did identify Straight Sick. Straight Sick having to jump around here. And he is going to check back again just to see if he was a, you know, if he's going to stay there. But instead, he actually moves around the map, which is a very smart play there by Ace. Straight, straight Sick, of course, on your screen right now. And we might have an encounter. But, and, and also another thing, Straight Sick has that concussion now. So that's going to be another advantage for Straight Sick. Three kills. And they are going to be making their way over to that next round game. Here we go. Let's check out the POVs of both players. Yeah, these two guys are now trying to sniff each other out. Tied, of course, with so much money on the line. Uh, being really careful. You see her ace hanging around the street. And Straight Sick checking every single corner that he turns with the concussion rifle. Remember, Skyline's the smallest map in Halo 4. So if these players aren't fighting, they're playing Ring Around the Rosie. That's probably what's going on. That's right. That's exactly what we're seeing. They're actually right now caddy corner on the map. Ace now going to, for the first time, push towards the middle of the map and grabs that bolt shot. Going to try a second try with that close range weapon. <laughs> it didn't work out the first. I don't know if I'd go for it again. But uh, let's see if it works out in his favor. And of course, he's checking his corners too, which is good because that happened to him before, right? Where like he just had to be cautious of uh, straight to, you know, just getting back there and crouching down. So let's see now. Is Here they are. The Ace is going to find him going on a shot. Here you go. Nate's flying out all over the place. He's going to have those shields. Ace and Straight Sick might move oh! in. But... Whoa, what a play. I thought Ace was down for it. Down and out. I thought that was it. And he grabs a concussion rifle, but Straight Sick knows he's down there. Ace with a concussion rifle. Going to try to land these shots. And it looks like both players have no shields. Uh, straight Six Tail Eye. Here we go. Now eight to seven in favor of Ace. Yeah, and, and actually Straight Sick does have two nades for him. So he has two plasma grenades, right? And Ace, on the other hand, he has no grenades. So he needs to play this one slow. Let's see, but he does have that concussion rifle. Of course, power weapon control, very important in a 1v1, as both players might be encountering each other any moment now. But man, just insane game we've been seeing so far, Bravo. And I tell you what, now we're just about at the one minute mark. Ace with the lead, eight to seven. He would gotta be careful. Every corner he turns, straight to be camping out, like we saw earlier in the match. Yeah, and remember too, there are no, there are no uh, uh, mini maps. So there's, you can't see the radars at all as now Ace actually is going to pick up that assault rifle and he might just try and hang out in this corner because if he pushes him that assault rifle with the melee should give him the win and Straight Sick is hunting him down. Ace is going to be making his way in. There goes the grenade as it's going to drop down. Straight Sick making his way around the corner and now you're going to see Ace moving in. Oh, oh, and Ace does God. it. Makes it 9-7 to seven, and he could have very well solidified his spot in the finals of the Halo 4 Global Championship. So, Bravo. Such a huge kill. Straight Sick shaking his head in frustration, now sprinting as fast as he can to try to find Ace on the other side of the map. Yeah, well, let's see if he's going to be able to find him. Ace, of course, knows exactly where he is going to be located. He saw him briefly. 16, 15 seconds on the clock. 
He's looking top middle to see if he's going to be there. Straight six running around, hunting, looking around every single corner, but he's just not going to be able to find him. That is going to do it. Five, four, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Ace is moving on to the finals. And what a play there from Ace, winning that match nine to seven. Uh, wow. Right there, that last kill, so huge, and getting him that two kill lead. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And, and, and the crazy part is that Straight Stick had the lead. He had the lead, Bravo. And it just Ace had that run that was able to make that game a tie. Oh, man, what a game that we just saw. Golden Boy, it was a 5-2 to two lead. We talked about it early on in the match. Straight Stick up 5-2. to two. And Ace not giving up. You see that one kill at a time, getting yep. that lead. And eventually winning by two kills. I, just <laughs> unbelievable. But guys, give it up for this guy right here, Straight Stick. He played amazing. And now... Your winner right there is going to be Ace moving on, playing for 75, guaranteed $75,000, but it's all about that 200 grand, Bravo. That's right. So enough post-mayhem analysis. We have Jessica Chobot standing alongside Kiki Wolfkill. Welcome back, guys. I'm here with the amazingly named Kiki Wolfkill. Not too bad. Not too bad. Thank you. Executive producer of Halo 4 and Oh my God, do you believe what we just saw? Seriously, it has been so intense and that is a perfect example of why. We have had upset after upset and even just getting to the 32, we lost a lot of the top players. We just saw what happened to, uh, oh, just straight sick. And it's, it's insane, it's super intense. First place versus fourth place, and fourth place totally dominates at the end. I mean, just goes to show you it's truly anybody's game here. Yeah, and the point differentials have been so small. The kill differentials have been so small. It's great. So what's your favorite feature from the Champions add-on? So I probably would say ricochet mode. It's all new. It's kind of this awesome like combat basketball, rugby, Halo. Um, it's awesome, but I will also say um, that I'm kind of digging the Mark V armor with my... Ooh, that's a crowd pleaser. With my blinged out gold magnum from the Steel Skin Pack, so. Now, is there anything else you can tell us about the Halo 4 Game of the Year edition that's coming out? Yes, we revealed that kind of earlier in the week. Um, so the Game of the Year edition is definitely sort of the comprehensive Halo 4 edition. So it's got all the War Games season pass, it's got the Champions bundle, it's got a whole bunch of new in-game avatar emblem items. Um, it's the whole package. Seeing what can happen and what just went down, who do you think is going to win? I feel so confused now. Uh, Pistol is a crowd favorite. I have to go with him. Uh, I would like to see him go to college. Uh, so, uh, yes, my money's on him today. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Kiki. Enjoy the rest of the tournament. Now let's get back to Bravo and Golden Boy with our first semifinal winner. Thanks, Jessica. Bravo and Golden Boy here down on the floor. Ace, you just got a guaranteed $75,000. You were down by three kills about three minutes into the match. How did you pull it off? At the beginning, I wasn't playing my game, but I decided, all right, I'm going to slow this down and let him come to me. So I waited around the map and just let him come to me and just played my game and won. So now I have to ask you, of course, we have, you know, Legit and Pistola next. And of those two... Players, who would you rather face in the final? Well, I want Legit to win because he's my teammate and good friend, but it's going to be a really close one. I've, I, I don't know who's going to win. Previously, Pasola has been the favorite to win and has actually beat him in a one. So I honestly do not know. It's going to be intense, man. I mean, uh, you know, one thing I do have to ask, how do you feel, man? I mean, you're guaranteed $75,000, dude. I feel amazing right now. I can't even believe it. I honestly didn't even expect to get here. Uh, I practiced only for a week. <laughs> Tell me, Ace, you used several uh, non-primary weapons that match. You had the assault rifle out. You had the bolt shut out. You also had the concussion rifle. Uh, and that last kill uh, with that assault rifle, the guy you the 9-7 to seven lead. Mm -hmm. Were you a little bit nervous? Yeah, I was. Uh, I decided to pick up those weapons because they're actually really good close range. And I decided I wanted to stay in the, around the base to make it a close range fight, so that's what I did. That's right, I noticed you didn't reload when uh, Straight Sick threw, threw that pulse grenade and then back-to-back -back plasmas and just challenged him right with him that kill. So, Ace, mm -hmm. thanks so much. Uh, 
for joining us here, and also, best of luck to you in the rest of the tournament. Thanks, thanks a lot. Oh boy, it's insane, insane. All right, uh, that was incredible. We're gonna have more gameplay coming up in just a bit. Oh. Guys, I have terrible news. It's a total tragedy, a catastrophe, an apocalyptic nightmare of epic proportions. Let me guess, you stopped up our toilet again. Come on, Griff, why do you always do that when I'm on janitorial duty? You're always on janitorial duty. That's because I like a clean bowl. Can a man have standards in this godforsaken hellhole? No! What I was gonna say is, I just found out that the Halo 4 Global Championships, they left out something incredibly important. Something that could have repercussions that would shake the very foundation of competitive gameplay as we know it. They forgot to include Griff Ball! Uh... What's that? What's Griff Ball? Excuse me? Griff Ball's named after yours truly, and it happens to be the most universally loved game type ever made! Hey, if you want to see some universally loved balls, I got a pair right here. Bow chicka bow wow. I mean seriously, this was going to be my moment in the sun. My shining hour. My chance to show the world what it means to be Griff. You mean fat, lazy, and stupid? You mean cursed by having only one ball? You mean orange? Screw you guys. It's the best game type ever. And if they don't want to have it in their stupid awesome tournament, then that's their loss. How do you even play Griff Ball anyway? And if it involves touching your junk, I'm not interested. It's super straightforward, dude. The orange guy holds the ball, which is really a bomb. And then the reds and the blues, they try to kill him with gravity hammers and swords. But then if the orange guy scores, he still dies because the bomb explodes. So you die over and over again. What the hell? Did Sarge invent this game type? Oh, I know. We can make Griff feel better all the time if we play Griff Ball with them. Uh, yeah, on second thought, maybe they don't need to use that silly game type after all. I think it's time we make our own tournament. Uh-oh. Up next, two players enter. One player avoids entering the workforce for several more years when Pistola and Legit meet in our next one versus one round. One of these guys is eight minutes away from a shot at winning $200,000. But first, it's time for our second community pick. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for Titanfall. You voted and we listen. something? Yeah, Barker was my wingman in the Titan Wars. I'm gonna kick all your asses. Hey, it may not look doing? like much, but trust me, we're gonna need him. <laughs> He's a hell of a pilot. Okay, let's move. Bish, I'm picking up a massive incoming jump signature directly above the city. I don't know what it is, but it's big. Whoa, heads up! Great. Mac. An IMC carrier just jumped in. You better get Barker out of there quick. Copy that, Fish. I'm working on it. I'm sending in some Hornets to keep that carrier busy. Pilots, focus on clearing out the IMC forces on the ground. That's a double kill.
pilots. Our diversion's still working. We just need to buy McAllen and Barker a little more time. Caution, you're outnumbered two to one. Secure the evac point for extraction. Mac, what's your status? We got Barker and we're clear, but just barely. See you back on the red eye. I've sent the dropship. It'll be there soon. Come on, come on! Yeah, yeah, it's that good. I, have you played it? All right, uh, I have, and it's awesome. Anyway, our ne you are not going to move. Our next musical guest is a passionate Halo 4 fan who made waves with her haunting online tribute to Cortana. That's right, everybody in this room knows about that song, but most people probably recognize her from her cover of Skyrim's The Dragonborn Comes, which actually racked up about 10 million views online, which is approximately 10 million more views than my basket weaving tutorial videos. Okay, good to up. know, good to know. She's really good at songs. She's all the way from Monterey, Mexico, and for you guys at home and you guys right here, she's singing live for the very first time. Those in sleep, please welcome Maluka. Sleep. And 
versus blue let's take a look at our players uh, for this next match oh man i mean first you got to talk about the crowd favorite pistola that's right pistola hailing from west columbia south carolina and with a 1.69 kill to death ratio coming in hot looking to take out legit and move into the finals against ace yeah i mean obviously pistola we like said is a crowd favorite but this guy right here legit a veteran in the scene 292 kills 221 deaths though 1.32 kill death ratio Hailing from Tampa, Florida. That's right, these two players now, uh, two really powerhouses in terms of free-for-all Halo play. And now they've, of course, moved on in this match. It's gonna be Pistola versus Legit, and the winner is gonna face Ace in the finals. Oh man, and you know, Ace, he's feeling good right now, but uh, if you had to pick one to go up against, this is so tough because they're both so good. Like, both players here, they're more than deserving of taking home $200,000, as well as our top, I mean, our top three in general, just uh, the guys that we have here, they're just so talented. And uh, I, man, I, I'm just at a loss for words right now. Yeah, I, and I think Pistola and Legit, two players that are just so aggressive, right? Historically, throughout competitive Halo, we've seen both of them competing at the highest level since Halo 2. Both players are really aggressive off the start. Wouldn't be surprised to see them really pushing into their enemy spawns and trying to find one another. Probably also trying to go for that concussion rifle right away. Yeah, you know, we saw in that last 1v1, right, that uh, the concussion rifle, you know, only one player went after it, right? And I believe that was Straight Sick. Straight Sick went straight for the concussion rifle, and it worked out well for him. He was able to actually pull off a, a substantial lead, but the key here is the steady BR, and we know both these players are going to be using a battle rifle, so I'm expecting them to really just, uh, I would say, kind of hold their positions up top middle, look around, and then, of course, the ring around the rosy. You know we're going to see it. They're going to be rotating around back and forth, but it's really going to be that first engagement that is a, a big telling point of this entire matchup. Oh, absolutely. I think whichever player comes out the gate and is able to get that first kill, and both these players with such strong shots, when we look at that battle rifle, as we said, the utility weapon that has been used in competitive play for years and years. Uh, they're both so consistent with their shots, so it's really going to be anyone's game, whoever gets that first kill. But as we saw in that last match, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to take the take the win. Straight oh, yeah. sick, of course, up by three kills, and then end up losing by two. Yeah, you know, I am curious to know who's going to be the aggressive one here, right? Who's going to be the guy that is going to be pushing in and just making sure that, you know, a, the, the person ever, the other player, never gets a chance to breathe, right? Because that is actually something that straight sick was doing, and it worked out well for him. But then, on the counterpart of that, Ace was like, all right, dude, I know you're going to be aggressive. Now it's time for me to counter that. Let me wait for you to move in, and I'm going to bait you. And I think that this 
could very well happen again, but I, I don't know between these two players who's going to be that aggressor. All right, I, I tell you, both of these players totally capable of keeping a cool head under pressure uh, with so much on the line, but we saw Ace in that last match try the bolt shot, didn't get the kill. Yeah. Try the concussion rifle, get a few kills, and eventually landed, this, landed the last kill with the assault rifle. Do you expect both of these players to kind of also try the different weapons around the map? You know, probably. I mean, they're, they're pretty creative guys, and Pistola's the kind of person that he will want to catch you by surprise. But, you know, the veteran nature of legit, the, that kind of player that he is, he's going to rely on that battle rifle, I think, more so than Pistola. Pistola might try and be a little bit more crafty in what he's doing. So, I, again, I'm not entirely sure because both of these players have played against each other in 1v1s before, and it's wow. a very, very close matchup. That's right. Now, it looks like the gameplay is underway. We can go ahead and switch on over we have both, both points of view. We're starting it off. I got your Pistola versus Legit for a guaranteed top two finish and $75,000. Both players, of course, selecting that battle rifle. We'll see if they both go for that concussion Round rifle bottom two. middle. And it seems like Ola actually went for that assault rifle out the gate already. So they know that, obviously, you know, you're going to be spawning opposite sides of the map. And uh, Legit, actually, is the player that's going to be making his way down by the bottom. But he is going to buy Pistola for that first engagement. Pistola is going to be at a paltry 10% shield left. Let's see if he's going to be able to stay alive and get that one recharged there. As Legit does manage to pick up the concussion rifle, that's going to be a big win for him. But let's see if he's going to be able to take advantage of it. Both players going to be top mid. Legit actually missing with those concussion Custom rifle sh uh, shells as Pistola is going to drop back. I love Pistola getting up on that ledge and getting himself airborne so he cannot be hit by the splash damage of the concussion rifle. Yeah, very smart move there, right? Because the splash damage is going to, you know, knock you around side to side. You're not going to know where to go, but Pistola is going to be in a bad, uh, bad position here. So he's actually going to run away on this one. Try and see if he can stay alive. Legit's going to be on the hunt looking for Pistola. He's going to bite him. And the first kill is going to go to Legit as he takes out Pistola for the first, ki first kill of this game. Look at that. Legit not even changing facial expressions as he picks up that first kill. He won those first two engagements, and now another battle going on right here. We're now on board with Legit. Yeah, and Legit, of course, knowing Pistola's going to be right below him. Nate's going to be flying down, so he's not going to push up just yet. Concussion rifle in hand. He is not going to challenge. Pistola should not challenge here if he wants to be able to come up on top of there. You can see that splash damage coming to play there. Cat concussion rifle, such a deadly weapon. Pistola actually is going to be only at a actually 50% shield. So that's here for Legit. It's going to get taken out. Pistola with the second kill of this game. One to one in the score. Pistola getting that revenge kill. A nice job there to tie up the match. We're now switching over to Pistola, who has a concussion rifle in his back pocket as well. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, again, the concussion rifle, even if you don't use it, it's just good to know that, hey, I have it, right? And the other guy doesn't. That's just very clear. So, uh, but it seems like Pistola is going to use here, getting a couple rounds down. He's going to be one shot, and he takes him oh out. My. Pistola is going to go up two to one in this 1v1 matchup. And legit, not even able to return fire. I got to tell you, legit, uh, Pistola must have heard his footsteps, immediately turned around, jumps up, and heard legit coming up those stairs. Of course, both of these players wearing headphones and extremely alert and focused. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, you, you know that, the, that they are just listening to every single movement and the pressure is certainly on here as Pistola is going to continue to navigate up top here. Like we said, this is an area that players are going to be really taking advantage of. And Legit actually identified Pistola as we can see both views of the players now as uh, Pistola is actually going to go in for the engagement. Legit going to have to back up here. Pistola with that concussion rifle and the assault rifle there for Legit. Let's see if it's going to come in handy. Concussion rifle down. Pistola hits himself with a round of that concussion as both players take out their battle rifles, they're actually going to drop around because there are no shields. They're not going to challenge. They're not going to give the other one the upper hand here. That was a very smart play by both players. Yeah, right now, Pistola with concussion rifle in hand, and another one has respawned on that bottom middle ordinance. Oh, this is interesting because now, <laughs> if Legit does manage to get a concussion rifle and Pistola is not careful, you know, this could spell doom for him here. Oh, Gando, they are right going to find each other right there. Pistola, he's going to shoot him out of the sky. No, no, he's not. He's actually going to land on the platform there, safe and sound. That's right. Legit wise to retreat. You even heard it in your game sound. Legit dropped down on those stairs. No doubt the Pistola once again heard him coming. Yeah, he, he knew that. And he also picked up the uh, the extra rounds there. So this is great, right? But if Pistola gets taken out, then those are a oh bunch of rounds goodness. there. And the boat shot moving in. And he was able to take him out there. What a what an encounter. Two to two in the count. Incredible job there from Legit. He sneaks around the bottom of the base, goes up the top middle, and you could tell Pistola was completely unsuspecting. Yeah, he, he the bolt shot again, right? We saw Ace try and take advantage of that in the last one. If you want, didn't quite work out, but Legit was more, oh, I, I, I guess you could say, cautious of it, right? He's like, I got to get him a little bit closer, and he was able to take advantage of that. That's right. Now tied two to two with six minutes left in this match. Of course, 10 minutes to play here. 
and we'll see which player is going to be able to advance on to that last one versus one match against Ace for a whopping $200,000. Yeah, 12 rounds in that concussion oh. rifle, by the way, Bravo. So that's good for at least a sod of like two kills if they're direct shots, you know? So let's see if, uh, if Legit is going to be able to take advantage of this Pistola navigating around the map. Now they're going to be on opposite sides here playing a little ring around the Rosie, as I said before. And Pistola here, he's looking at his corner, checking his corners. It's very smart, right? Because you saw in that last game that straight stick was trying to take advantage of that corner. But there you go, Pistola in the encounter as Legit oh. actually is going to have to drop up Pistola is going to drop back, double back over and see if he can get some cover, put his back to a wall so that this way he can expect Legit to drop down and not get any surprises from, you know, behind. Yeah, Pistola actually had the upper hand there. Really nice job by Legit to stay on the second level and not fall victim. But these players engaging one another once again. Yeah, but Pistola was identified. Shots were exchanged as Ola's actually going to navigate the bottom middle area. Legit will be on the prowl. They should be encountering each other if Legit decides to go around this wall, but Pistola is going to be up top. So he is going to be in a safe area for the time time being and legit taking advantage of that corner. Right, right, right there using that corner up. Clearly, we know players have tested that area. If the solo was to come around that corner, he would definitely not be able to see him as that Spartan character is hidden right in there. Now, Ooh. legit, finally leaving the corner, and Pistola with the light rifle in hand. I love the light rifle pickup because it is so deadly with that scope, right? And you're actually going to see Pistola is going to manage to put two rounds, and that's going to knock him more than halfway in the shields. He's going to have one left, and he oh. takes him out. Pistola with that last shot was able to make it happen. What a move, and he gets the concussion rifle. Big win for Ola. Now up three to two. I tell you what, that's the first time we've seen the light rifle all weekend, Golden Boy, but when you zoom that light rifle in, it is a four-shot kill, extremely dangerous, and as you see, cleans up that kill on Legit and also gains the lead. Oh, you know he was chasing after that kill. He's like, I, I have to get this. This is it right here. This is my time to shine, and it certainly was. And now Pistola is going to find him down his bottom concussion rifle in hand. He's going to get the one shot. He can't seem to do so. Nate flying down as he's going to be able to angle that nade perfectly, but he runs away. Legit actually on the run, and he's going to find him right there. Concussion rifle rounds going down as well. And let's see here if Pistola, oh man, what an encounter as Pistola was not able to wrap that one up. Legit, great movement to get away from that one. I tell you, incredible play by Legit. He was trapped around a pillar and Pistola had two grenades, however, somehow gets away. I don't, I don't know how he managed to do that. I mean, he had the shots on him and you can see they're Legit at 50% shields. Pistola with that concussion rifle in hand. He's gonna make his way up top and Legit's gonna navigate the bottom arrow. Oh, actually, he gets up top there, puts two shots on Ola. Now it's gonna be an even match. Let's see if Pistola does decide to encounter engage as Legit's gonna have no shields here. Let's see. Pistola's gonna go on the run. They're right near each other, but they don't know quite where. And there you can see Pistola able to take him out. Good He's win for Pistola. Huge win for Pistola, and I tell you what, he used the hit markers from the concussion rifle yep. as well as the grenades to keep Legit weak the entire time. Excellent play there from Pistola, who is now up 4-2. to two. Yeah, but watch out, though, because Legit did identify him. So Pistola's gonna have to make his way back up top and, you know, it, it was a smart play for him to just run away, get away from that situation. But instead, he's going to go to challenge because Pistola is a daring, daring player. And the, oh, oh, the nade placement! The nade gosh. placement! Unbelievable! He put the nade in the best possible. He said, here, take this, it's yours. And then it blew up, and that was it. Excellent Unbelievable. Play. And then knocks Legit around with that concussion rifle even more, totally dominating with that. He's up 5-2 to two with 2.38 left in the match. This is it right here for Pistola. This is his time right now. He knows, he's feeling it. But legit, he's not out of this yet, guys. Three kills we saw in that last 1v1 that you can be up 5-2, to two and it doesn't matter because you could end up losing the game. So legit just needs to find Pistola now, and obviously he's putting down shots at him, which is great, right? Because Pistola's just going to have no shields. The encounter, wait a minute. He's going to jump around the corner, and he's able to take him out. Oh, man, that was a little bit dangerous, but legit was able to come up on top. Right, let's not count him out left. Just over two minutes left, only down by two kills. Totally within the reign of possibility for Legit. Yeah, I mean, with the way that these two players have been playing, though, the, the, we got to bear in mind is that they have been playing a little bit slower than our last two players, right? So Legit actually is going to stay Both right by players, concussion. Right, yeah, by the concussion rifle. Let's see, as Pistola is playing very careful here, doesn't want to drop down, and he knows that Legit is right by this concussion rifle. This is it right here. This concussion rifle could very well decide the game if Legit's able, and he does manage to get the concussion rifle. But Pistola's going to be there right for the engagement. Shots going down. Pistola's going to have no shields left legit only with 10% as legit's actually going to get away from that one pistola managing to stay alive just a little bit but he is going to go back to no shield scan and run away from that one just going down pistola gets around the corner and legit is probably disappointed with himself there but there he is oh, comes back oh, with a challenge oh, oh. oh my why did he do 
through that. I tell you what Why? happened there. Golden Boy was Pistola got oh. away. He thought legit was chasing him around the corner. Turns out legit just played it cool and waited for Pistola to run out smart again. Play. Now five to four. Smart, smart play there by legit to just wait around. Pistola unfortunately did the best he could do. Pistola now knowing that he's going to be right around the corner, jumping up. The time is going to be dwindling down. We're going to have 55 seconds left on the clock here. One kill separates him. Legit's going to find him right on top. Man, it's the VR battle to decide it all. And Pistola's going to go in. even believe in my voice is gone. I, I'm just screaming right now. That's a huge game changer. 40 seconds left now. Six to four. Pistola just needs to keep this lead and he'll be moving on to our grand finals match. Oh man, this is it. But legit does have a needler in hand as he's going to try and take him out. We're going to have 30 seconds left on the clock. Pistola's going to just play this one slow. Legit knowing that he might be hanging out right by the bottom. Needler out and ready to go. But Pistola is going to play the runaway game. That is the best thing that you could possibly do. Legit knows. You can see it on the screen. He's shaking his head. He's like, darn it. I know that this is not it for me. But wait a minute. He is going to find Pistola over there going in for it. And he's going to get taken out. That solidifies it. Ladies and gentlemen, Pistola is moving on to the final. That's right. Now Pistola is going to go ahead and face Ace as these two players wow. hug it out. Two professional players who have been unbelievable in the competitive Halo scene. I lost my voice doing that one. That was insane. I mean, just the crowd is going crazy for Pistola. They want him to take this. No more fitting of a player, but obviously legit. Guys, give it up for legit. That he played so hard in this tournament. Oh, man. What a game. That's right. Now we have our two combatants for the finals. It's going to be Pistola going up against Ace. Oh, 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 man. I couldn't have picked two better players to be participating in this one, man. And, and you know what? It, when you look at it in the grand scheme of things, right, this is such a fitting stage for two players who have worked so hard to get to where they are. Right. As we said, players who have dominated in professional Halo for the past few years, it's really no surprise that they're here as our final two in the Halo 4 Global Championship. That's right. Well, guys, you know what? I mean, when you really look at it, though, right? Pistola, he he played it smart, right? He played aggressive, and and at the same time, he dialed it back a little bit. And then when he got that lead, oh, he, he almost choked it, though. He, he almost, uh, he, he kind of, uh, obviously, he almost choked it. But the thing is, is that legit, he was on the hunt the entire time. He was the aggressor, and then Pistola was able to take this one a, a little bit slower. So it was a very good, good run for Pistola. That's right. All right. So up next, we're going to have our grand finals. But before that, we're going over to Jessica Chobot, who has a very special VIP guest. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Halo 4 multiplayer designer Quinn Del Hoyo. Now, Quinn, Pistola just has been sweeping through these matches. I mean, are you surprised by this at all? I mean, he is the fan favorite. No, I'm not surprised at all. You know, everyone loves uh, Pistola. He's, he's been around the, the, the league and the whole game for a long time. So it's, it's good to see him there. And, you know, I want to give kudos to Legit as well. He played so good there and the rallies he had around trying to get away and the escapes. That's what I love about Halo multiplayer. You just don't see that in a lot of shooters, that dance and the, the rallying back and forth. Now, what's it like to see the new gameplay mechanics? You guys recently rebalanced all the weapons, correct? Yeah, we did. Back in uh, June, we uh, 343 loving and call it the turbo update. So, you know, we had the, the battle rifle get up to a four shot uh, kill and all these wonderful things that we just built in there from all the, the statistics and the data and the feedback we got from the game going live. And we put it out there. And that's what's so great is people that watch this at home right now, you can see and play the exact same game that these awesome competitors are playing right now, these exact same settings. Now, I believe that we have left is Pistola and Ace. Who do you think is going to win? You know, that's a, that's a tough one. I mean, I know Kiki went with Pistola. Pistola's awesome. I do, I do think Pistola. It's just fun saying his name. Yeah, no, yeah the, the Pistolero, you know. Pistola's great. I think Ace is really good. I do have a soft spot for Ace because he's a former member of Status Quo, and I do dig the Status Quo, as you all know. So I'm, I, I think I'm going to go with, uh, I'll go with Ace. Very nice. All right, well, thanks to Quinn Del Hoyo, who is also wearing my favorite aftershave. You smell wonderful, sir. And now that the match is a wrap, Bravo and Golden Boy get a chance to talk to our winner. Thanks, Jessica. We're here on the floor with Pistola. Pistola, how good does it feel to be this close to $200,000? The first word that comes to my mind is fantastical. I feel fantastical right now. Well, you I don't gotta... think that's a real word, but it's going to be officially a word now, right, guys? I think, right. I mean... <laughs> Uh, you, you had an excellent game there. Like, like we said, uh, you kept a cool head the entire match. You didn't panic. That kill you had, though, where you threw that plasma, legit had top mid control on you. You threw that plasma down, and then three concussion rifle shots. What was going through your head there? Oh, I was panicking, man. I honestly didn't think I was going to kill him there at all, because plasma nades take a little, long, you know, a little bit longer to explode. I think my concussion rifle actually made my plasma nade explode. So I, I actually got pretty lucky, to be honest. 
I mean, all right, Pistola, I have to ask you, though. You know, when, when you really think about it, right, you have Ace coming up next, and he came back against Straight Sick. We thought that Straight Sick had that one in the bag. It was up by three. I mean, what do you, what is the, I shouldn't ask what your game plan is, but how do you feel going up against an opponent like Ace? I mean, uh, any thoughts in regards to that? Well, he's a great player. As you can tell, he's made it this far. I, all I have to do is find him before he finds me, to be honest. <laughs> all right, well, best of luck to you, buddy. Thank all right, you. best of luck, Pistola. Next up, we have Larry and Blair with some next-gen goodness. Thanks, guys, but I have to warn you, it's about to get a little violent. A little's underselling it a <laughs> bit. It's going to get a lot violent. It turns out that one of the goriest launch titles for the Xbox One actually isn't about zombies. It's about history, right? specifically the very violent Roman history. It was not a pleasant time. So hold yes. on to your limbs, because we've got an exclusive new look at the jaw-dropping brutal combat of the new Xbox One exclusive, Rise, Son of Rome. Rise combat is about the player stepping in the shoes uh, of our main guy. Marius Titus, you are a Roman warrior. You are working your way up through the ranks. It's brutal, it's up close, it's intense. He's that grounded, he's strong, he's powerful, he's, he's heroic. He's not about flamboyant moves, he's not a ninja, he's a warrior, he's a soldier. And so when we think about him as a warrior and we think about how he's gonna fight, then those are the kind of concepts we try and think about. Is this attack efficient? Is it getting to the, you know, to the strike as quickly, as deadly as possible? And is it powerful? Is it strong? When he throws his shield, is all his weight behind it, you know? So when it slams, you know, it really slams. We actually worked with an expert on Roman fighting and combat strategies to, to gather some knowledge about how to handle weapons and shields and all that kind of stuff. And that was really helpful for us. We had the chance to, to play a bit with some actual equipment, and that was really insightful for us. For my first date, I, I brought a, a two big um, gun cases full of swords and weapons, and I, I brought a Roman armor, a Roman helmet, two different kinds of shields. I, I brought a Celtic shield, I brought a Roman shield, so that they can touch real weapons and see, oh, how, how they look, what's the weight, what's the size, all that. He would tell us, like, if you're standing, like, what, how would your body move to attack behind you? or attack in a different direction. And it was really interesting because he had some things and poses that we maybe would not have thought about. Every single action you have in Rise can flow in and out of each other. So it gives the player maximum flexibility. So I can block this enemy, I can attack this one, I can push this one away, and I can throw my pilum at a guy uh, who's an incoming attacker. And what it does is it gives you the ability to kind of you know, create your own language. Marius does not attack one guy and finish him and then stop and then move to the other guy. It really means he's attacking this one and then goes to a different guy and then another guy. Push, deflect, uh, stab. So he can all do that continuously as long as you're chaining the combos correctly. Based on the type of enemy you're dealing with, uh, there'll be a way to defeat him. So certain enemies will have to kind of deal a lot more damage uh, to take them out and that can happen two ways. One is you can choose the damage perk and decide to kind of take more off of him or you could choose the health perk to stay alive longer to be able to maybe get more hit points. You go into an encounter and the first thing you do is say, okay, who am I facing? What can I do? And then the next one could be completely different because you've got a completely different setup. And then on top of that, we have this layer where they work together and that's when things get even more interesting because they'll attack differently when they've got different supporting AIs around them. And so that takes the intensity up to a different stage. The player can switch from one action to another action, from one AI to another AI. And it's also about how the AI interacts, try and break the player's flow. So in Rise, you can expect to unlock a lot of executions throughout the course of the game. You're kicking a guy off a ledge, so you may kill him that way. Um, if you get close to a fire, there's numerous executions there. If you're in the water, if you're against a, a wall, um, if you're against a ledge, 
It goes on and on and on. The executions really stack up. We're definitely going for a higher level of emotion out of our characters. Not only in cinematics, not only in executions, but also live in combat. We did a lot of stuff with the camera stuff. We did really extreme animations, really close animations. Intensity, it's about brutality. It's about being close to the enemy that's trying to kill you as you're trying to kill him. So one of the final things we're really trying to achieve with the Rice Combat is give it a skill for mastery. When we take flow and we take the intensity of the AI and bring them together, that's when the depth and the scope for mastery becomes apparent. Because in one encounter, you can finish it a certain way. Maybe you kill everyone, but you didn't quite execute everyone. So then you want to play again, set them up in different ways so maybe you can execute everyone, but maybe you didn't double execute everyone. Did you perform the perfect chain? Was your flow from beginning to end this like seamless, smooth transition from move to move, enemy to enemy, where you've got them all set up in this perfect state and you just push the trigger button and they all just fall. An important aspect of kind of doing this whole game is this you know, idea that you know, we can create a combat system where you can be more emotionally engaged to what your player is actually doing. I mean, that will be the first sign that we've done well if you actually feel something out of combat. And the other aspect is that just nuts and bolts wise, we have a solid combat system, something that we can build more and more on top of. And that's really where the depth aspect comes in. You know, we want it to feel really, really good to play. We don't want players to feel frustrated or you know, get too angry over the fact they can't pull something off. But at the same time, master players will be able to do stuff that when you watch these YouTube videos, you're gonna go, this is amazing, how does someone ever do that? And you know, if we can, if we can kind of tap into those two main elements, then uh, we would have felt we've done you know, a good job. We've really done everything we can to wrap it all up to have a really good full experience for the player. Yes, all right. All right, we've narrowed the field from eight to two and $275,000. And this trophy are on the line. That's right, that's right. But before we get uh, to that epic combat, uh, Jessica Chobot, who's apparently having a super good time smelling dudes, yeah. is standing by with our finalists <laughs> to find out if they have any last words or taunts for each other. Jess? All right, I've got with me Pistola and Ace. Guys, first of all, congratulations for making it this far. Even if you lose, you're still going home with $75,000. But that is no reason to rest on your laurels. So tell me, what do you think you're going to bring to this next match that's going to help you win? Uh, honestly, just staying alive and trying to locate my opponent faster than he can locate me. I'm guessing he's going to take that same strategy approach. I have to say, you have an amazing knack for knowing what the opposite player is going to do before they do it. I'm very impressed. Ace, what are your plans? Pretty much the same as him, just uh, try to let him come to me. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? I said, oh, yeah? Oh. <laughs> oh, you're telling me that right now? All right, I'm just going to run away as much as I can now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a mic right there. <laughs> it happens at these events. Yeah, thank God it was soft, because it didn't really hurt at all. It hit my face. I really don't know what to say more after that. <laughs> Any final words, Sace? Good luck to Pistola. I've honestly thought he was one of the best Halo players ever. And uh, it's going to be a great match. Awesome. Well, may the best player win. Now, where are those supplies? Ah! Ah! What the hell, Doc? What are you doing hiding in there? Shh! Don't let anybody know that you've seen me! I don't want the officials from the Halo 4 Global Championship Finals to know where I am! What, are you worried they're going to recruit you? They already have! Yeah, right. Doc, you may have one of the highest body counts of anyone I know, but I'm pretty sure they were all team kills. I don't think you need to worry about getting recruited to play in a tournament. No, not to play in it! To take care of the wounded! I'm the designated medic! For the whole tournament? Yes! And I mean, can you even imagine the body count? Yeah, it's gonna make a slaughter. But on the bright side for me, there are going to be a lot of lonely widows that need comforting. Bow chicka bow. Too soon? Uh, it's just that, you know, I'm pretty good at pretending to help people while they suffer a needless death, but there's only so much that one man can do. Yes, Doc, you're quite the martyr. Tell me about it. Hey, maybe I can file conscientious objector status. Don't you need a conscience for that? 
And besides, that's just an excuse so that you don't have to fight and die. Not watch other people fight and die. <laughs> when will my personal suffering end? Don't these soldiers know that when they hurt each other, they're really just hurting me? Yes, how could they be so thoughtless? As to die. Exactly, somebody gets it. Tell you what, Doc, you need a better hiding spot, and I've got just the place. Hop into this crate if you want to make it through this. Great idea, Tucker, thanks. Oh, and uh, by the way, sorry I misdiagnosed that little venereal issue you had last week. I hope there are no hard feelings. Uh, no pun intended. Like I said, Doc, let's not ever mention that again. Yeah, I didn't write a blog about it. I wouldn't do that with pictures. Excuse me, Private Tucker, did you locate the box of supplies? Sure did. It's right here. Excellent. We'll get it shipped out to the Halo 4 Global Championship ASAP. We can airdrop it directly onto the battlefield. It's locked up pretty tight. Tell them they might need to detonate it to get it open. Will do, sir. Thanks. I'm just glad to do our part for the tournament. Uh, hey, Tucker? Tucker? What? What was that? About the battlefield? Tucker? Tucker? I heard something about the battlefield. What was that exactly? Tucker? Tucker! Alright, the third round is in the books with Pistola defeating Legit, Ace taking out Straight Sick, and as you can see right there on your screen, the emotions are running high, my friends. Now, the final is just around the corner, but before the very last match, we've been asking everyone the entire night to watch, uh, watch on Xbox Live to vote on our final game trailer of the evening. Now, the Xbox community has spoken, and here's your community pick trailer, Watch Dogs. You picked this. CTOS is groundbreaking technology. We're promoting efficiency, comfort, and safety, dedicated to protecting you and your friends. Citizens of Chicago, we are dead set. You have heard enough lies. It is time to hear the truth. You can be hacked. Someone is inside the network. We have seen him. You wanted the system hacks? You got me in. He is not DevSec, and we do not defend him. Police believe they are closing in on suspected vigilante Aiden Pierce. Suspect is in a vehicle and attempting to flee. He is proof. Squad, we're on the scene and in pursuit. That the CTOS network is flawed. are vulnerable. One man has done exactly what we have warned you about. Are you in trouble? No, I'm not. The virus is still doing damage. Shut it down. Now is the time to wake up. Performing Atonement, please welcome Sarah Fletcher.
Sarah Fletcher there, uh, incredible performance. And I can't wait to check out this last match, of course. Golden Boy, let's remind everyone watching at home the 1v1 rules. That's right, guys. Of course, a one versus one situation is about to go down. We've been watching it throughout this entire broadcast. And of course, guys, it's going to be a very intense matchup. We have 10 minutes on the clock as well as a 10 kill limit. So let's see if that's actually going to drop down here. Of course, we're going to take one more look at that. One versus one, 10 minute time limit first. And of course, the same four weapons, pist weapons, Pistola using that light rifle for the first time. Also the DMR, the BR, and the carbine at their disposal. A little sad no one's using the carbine, Bravo, but you know, I expected it. I mean, I, you know, in the end of the day, though, players are going to be going after that top middle and we saw that used quite a bit and a first place winner is going to take home $200,000. That's right. And Pistola versus Ace, two powerhouses in terms of competitive Halo history. I can't wait to see which one is going to take home a $200,000 first place prize. Yeah, well, let's first talk about Pistola, the crowd favorite. Everyone is totally into the Pistola fever right now. 30, 338 kills throughout the Halo 4 Global Championship deaths, 210, a 1.6 kill death ratio. Right, that's actually the best kill death ratio in the tournament. Yeah, it's only fitting he's in the finals, makes sense. <laughs> that is right. And also, Ace, of course, his competition, as you said, definitely respects Pistola. As actually, these two players definitely respect one another uh, as they've both had a bunch of accomplishments in Halo 4, but That's nothing right. quite like this. This is the biggest Halo tournament in history. This is on a whole nother level, dude. This is insane. I mean, $200,000, I, I wouldn't even begin to know what to do with that. I mean, first, I would create technology that will prevent me from sweating, but beyond that, though, I think that I would also be, want to play on this map right here. It's Skyline, and this is where the battleground is going to take place. That's right. You guys have been watching it throughout the entire program. Now, this is also going to be the map for our final battle. Yeah. That's right, guys. Really look for players to be taking advantage of that top middle area. And of course, that concussion rifle we're going to see in just a little bit right there. That was a big deciding factor in these 1v1s. Players were timing them and baiting them as well. So that's going to play a factor in this matchup in the finals. Right. I mean, you, you, without a doubt, the concussion rifle has been huge in every match. And it's almost been a turning point. Whenever that concussion rifle comes up, anything can happen. Yeah, but you can't forget about the bolt shot, though, right? We've seen players use it quite a bit here. And it's a surprising amount, uh, as a matter of fact. But it's a great short-range weapon. And the Needler, the dreaded purple weapon of doom. Right, we <laughs> haven't seen too many players pick it up just yet in the one versus one matches. And uh, we actually just found out from our Xbox Live interactive experience that we hear that Pistola is the favorite on Xbox Live. I mean, he's given so many great replies. I mean, uh, the, the whole microphone thing, you know, the car, like he's just, he's just on fire right now. People love this kid. Right, and Pistola, we know uh, several months ago actually won a tournament on this exact game type in a one versus one mode. So he's no stranger to 1v1 on Skyline. Yeah, I know, but uh, I can't forget about Ace. Though. No one can forget about Ace. I mean, he came back against Straight Sick. Straight Sick was up five to two in their matchup. And then out of nowhere, you just saw Ace take the lead. So it, it, this is going to be very hard to call anyone game here guys and it's going to be a great matchup right as as we heard earlier on today ace actually does not have that much practice coming into this tournament that's a testament to just how skilled he is at halo yeah but you know when you think about it right these are two of the greatest halo 4 players in the world right right here the halo 4 global championship this is what it's all about and ace is the kind of guy that you know he probably doesn't need all that much practice that's how that's how darn good he is that's so right. we'll see how this unfolds man and, and you got to wonder what's going through these players heads of $75,000 guaranteed to each of them yeah. however as we said, $200,000, that's life-changing money. It is, it is. I mean, I would probably buy a much better car than one that would get me from point A to point B, but that's just me, right? I'm Hispanic, that's just what I tend to do. Probably get some spinning rims on that one, perhaps. I don't even know, but Pistola, he's gonna get, he's probably gonna get himself a nice low-key vehicle. That's, that's the kind of guy he is. And, uh, and of course, on the other side, Ace, I mean, you know, I think he's the kind of guy that is probably just gonna, you know, be calm with it, be, be, be mellow. <laughs> Indeed, it looks like we're about to get this game underway right now, so let's cue the dramatic music. Oh, oh. boy. Championship round. All right, now these two players, Ace and Pistola, were kicking it off right here with both players. We'll see which one's going to be able to grab map control first. It's been a grueling a couple of weeks, Bravo. This is what it boils out to right here. And Pistola actually ended up picking up that concussion rifle right away. Big win for him. Ace actually getting that bolt shot. So this is going to work out very well for him in the close range. Now, the thing is, Pistola knows that he's going to have to run around as much as possible. He needs to be wary of his corners, though. 
Right, Pistola getting that hit markers right there, gonna try to push on Ace, but he does have that bolt shut out. Ace down, drops down in the stairs, Pistola unable to find him, both players weak. Yeah, that's right, Pistola actually gonna run away from this one. A smart uh, smart move, honestly, because he was not gonna waste that first kill. The first kill is gonna be so important here, because it's really gonna just swing the momentum of this entire game. You can get super depressed if you get taken out first. Of course, you have plenty of time to play, but you just don't want that to happen to you. Right now, Pistola finds Ace, looks like Ace is unaware, but Ace go. gets the first shots in. Pistola now staying alive, using that glass to not engage. Yeah, but he is gonna to find with the concussion rifle dropping down and he might be able to take him out he's gonna be right by the corner and he, and takes he gets him out. a grenade kill that's the first kill and he's that bit closer to two hundred thousand dollars that's right nine kills away nine kills away but let's go ahead hop on board with pistola here let's see what he's gonna do the carbine's there pick it up that's fine all right and it seems like ace is actually gonna engage there with pistola and he's gonna run away he's been doing that a lot right? he, he's just been playing uh far away right trying to play that whole away thing and ace right there for the engagement once again top middle ace is hungry for this first kill on his board. Let's see if he's going to be able to get it. Oh, there you go. My knows. goodness, and Ace picks up a kill with that pulse grenade. Love that. Like we Love said, it. Ace able to get in extra shots here and there, and that really can make the difference. If one player is able to get that extra bit of shot, they'll weaken their opponent just enough to push in on the advantage. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the thing about that, right, is that the pulse grenade, that gun has to really, t like, take you out. Like, you need to be, like, really low shields. And it, of course, Ace just took full advantage of that one right there. Ace with that concussion rifle in hand. Pistola, he's going to wait up top. He's going to see if uh, Ace is going to uh, make his way up there because, again, he has that concussion rifle, and it's going to be a prime position for him to have. But Ace actually ended up finding Pistola, but Pistola also found Ace. Both players going to be around the corner. Let's see what the engagement is going to happen here. He's going to get him with the concussion, but Pistola is able to take him out, and that's going to net him his second kill and the concussion rifle. Right, he goes up 2-1. to one. Look at Pistola once again getting on that kiosk, jumping in the air. Although Ace was able to land two direct hits mid-air, Pistola coming away with that kill. Yeah, it was just a great encounter there for Pistola. Pistola, unfortunately, though, he's going to actually be at less than half shields. He's going to play this one slow. He's going to actually get chased from behind. He needs to be careful here. Running away. Ace knows that he's going to be actually making his way through the base. Perhaps no, he actually goes for the street instead. And with that said, Pistola is going to have to double back and get his shields back. He may have encountered him, but it turns out not to be the case. And the concussion rifle is back up once again. Let's see how Pistola is going to play this one out. Right now, both players, of course, back to full shields. And that concussion rifle is up. We'll see which player makes the move first. It could be the deciding kill. I mean, here we are. Uh, a two-kill lead in this type of match with two closely skilled players is huge. Yeah, I, you know, the, the thing that I'm most interested in, right, is that, you know, Pistola, he has been uh, the power weapon, right, Brandon? It's not been his go-to thing here in this matchup, but Pistola actually going to have to drop back. They've been really relying on their BR play and, of course, nade engagement as well. Right, so although Ace did not win that battle, he was able to push Pistola back, and now he also has a con concussion rifle, both players with that power weapon in hand. Yeah, and Pistola seeing if he's going to actually be around those crates, right? But he's not, a, and never mind, though, he's going to find him. The shots are not going through. Pistola's going to be one shot. Pistola is not going to go for the engagement. Let's see how Pistola is going to play this one. Dropping his head below, but that's not going to happen. Two to two in the count as Ace manages to tie it up. And as we said, Pistola in his pregame interview mentioned that he's going to be running away a lot. And that's what we've seen. Pistola playing very reserved. Not really trademark of Pistola gameplay. We're used to him being a really aggressive free-for-all and 4v4 player. That's very true. But uh, and the thing, too, is that Ace, he... So he played that one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's he a did huge grenade. Pistola got that hit marker and now getting around, but it looks like he's not going to push in. Ace no, 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 no. Look what he's doing. He's now. actually wrapping around him, coming right behind him, and he's going to find him right there. There he goes. He's got the rifle coming out, but never mind. Ace is able to take him out. Big win there for Ace as he detected that flank, and he was able to call a great move by him. Right now, five and a half left in the match. Another engagement, both players shooting. Pistola able to pick up that kill. Oh. Pistola's gonna tie it three to three. A straight up BR battle right there to win that for Pistola. You know, you can't go toe to toe BR with Pistola. His is probably the most steady. Once again, you're gonna see another one. But Pistola actually is gonna be uh, at around like, what, like 2% shield? He's gonna have to drop back, wait for that shield recharge. Ace on the other side. And let's see if they're going to encounter each other anytime soon. You know that top middle is going to be very important as we go ahead and jump on board here with Pistola. Pistola is going to be putting down some shots. Ace, he's, he continuously gets Pistola down to like barely any shields left. He can't quite put it away. Right now, might try to lift up the top middle. Of course, anything that happens now with only five minutes left could be the deciding factor of the game. Yeah, let's see now. Pistola making his way top middle. The area we said that is one of the most important spots. But here you go, the encounter as both players are going to find each other. And Pistola. 
take him out and net himself that fourth kill. One step closer with four minutes and 38 seconds left on the clock. That's right, and now that new concussion rifle is up, jumping back on board with Pistola, who recently got uh, that now fourth kill, giving him a one kill lead. Gonna try to be very careful here, but he's using that concussion rifle, knocking his opponent around yeah. and finishing it with the battle rifle. He wants to pad that lead and he wants to bait it. So, again, he does not necessarily need to get this concussion rifle. He has one of his own. Let's see here as uh, Pistola is just gonna wait. And if he picks it up too, here's the other thing. Oh, wait a minute, he's actually gonna find him as Ace is gonna try and go for the counter. You see with the bank with the grenade there. Pistola's not gonna get hit that much. Ace is gonna move in. He's trying to make something happen, but oh. Pistola! is gonna get taken out by Ace, and Ace is gonna tie it up, making it four to four. And I can't believe now four minutes left, the game is now tied. Pistola did not get that kill on that last hit marker. Now they're pushing into top middle. Pistola trying to maintain ground here over around the blue key option. That's right here, you can see Ace engaging with that concussion rifle. They fly in, oh. and Pistola able to get that last kill, and back and forth we go, Bravo, as this game has just been insane. Yep, now five to four in favor of Pistola, who now has top mid control. Once again, checking out all the spawns, wondering where his enemy might be pushing in from. Yeah, and actually, by the way, you saw Ace pick up that assault rifle. So he is hoping that he can get Pistola off guard and be able to push in there with that assault rifle, right? Draining down that shield with that concussion rifle. So deadly, he's gonna pop him up in oh, the air. No. And he's not even gonna need the concussion rifle as he manages to melee Pistola and take him out, making it five to five. That we couldn't have asked for a more close final. Like Bravo. you said, back and forth, Ace pushes in. Pistola thought he was gonna get that melee battle. Ace actually winning that. Now tied five to five with three minutes left. I, I mean, again, that concussion rifle's still there, right? So no one has picked it up. They're still trying to bait each other. And at this point, you have to think to yourself, like, if you're Pistola, do you go for it? Do you wait back, right? Do you, do you try and play this one slow? And if you're Ace, I mean, again, it's tied. I don't even know how to call this because both players, they're, they're engaging each other a lot more than what I thought they, they normally would have. And the assault rifle out here, Ace was anticipating potentially a flank watching his corners, and Pistola's gonna be up top. Right now, Pistola using that glass very strategically. Does not want to overextend himself if he kind of looks around an angle too much. Ace can very quickly land two to three shots and get the upper hand in a battle. Yeah, and just to you know, cover back on that concussion rifle there, Bravo. No one's going to pick it up because I was just thinking about this. As soon as it's up, they know that they're going to be down there, right? Because right. that icon is going to go away. So right. usually what we see is someone yeah. going to kill first, and then they're going to get that one kill lead and the concussion rifle, almost adding salt to the wound of that last defeat. Exactly, but no one's been in that position to be able to make it happen. As Pistola and Ace might be able to encounter each other, and Ace are going to be flying in right from the right side. Here you go, 1v1 battle. As Ace is actually going to have to drop down BR battle. Good old-fashioned BR battle. And look at that. All it took there was Pistola go. to back Ace down. Now Pistola has the concussion rifle in hand. Yeah, so this is going to work out very well for him, but look at this here. They're right near each other, Bravo, and they could very well encounter one another. Ace is just spinning all around the map to see if he can find him anywhere, if he could see the red name pop up. Pistola, though, clean shots. Yep. Unfortunately, though, not able to close that one out. That's and still going to be 5-5. Five five. And we're well under the two-minute warning now. One minute and 30 seconds left. Ace landing those first two shots. Pistola knows he needs to back down against a consistent player like Ace. This has been such a... This next kill is pretty much going to decide who takes this one here. Ace here, he's going to jump down to the bottom middle. Pistola, concussion rifle in hand. Ace, assault rifle, shots exchanged. Pistola actually has the upper oh. hand, and Pistola gets the shot, making it 6-5. to five. That is going to be a big win for Ola, as we are just going to be counting down to the one-minute mark, guys. That's right, just one minute left now on board with Pistola, who just picked up that kill. You see Ace throw one his head back in frustration. Now 6-5. to five. Less than one minute left. This is it, everyone. This is it right here. $200,000 on the line. And it could very well go to Pistola if he continues to play like this. Here we're going to see the dual screen action as Pistola is going to see if he's going to be around this corner, checking around, hoping not to get surprised. He has that concussion rifle out, but wait a minute. Just as when he thought that Ace was out of it, he ends up finding Pistola. The encounter's going down. This could seal out the game. Pistola with the encounter. And he gets oh! it. Here, six to six, Ace has recently tied Pistola. Both players fighting for map control. And here we go right here, this is it. This is for all the marbles. And we have about 60 seconds left on the clock. Ace is actually gonna wait around. Pistola going for the engagement. He knows he wants to make this one happen. He's gonna be down there at the bottom. He has to make it happen right now. No time to think. Oh, like it's gonna be a tie. We might go to a tiebreaker match. Here we go. Boys. Here we go. He finds him in the corner. That's and gonna be it. And it's a tie. Oh. We're gonna have to go to our tiebreaker oh. match, Golden Boy. We are gonna have to oh. go to another Freak. round. 
these oh. two players tie. Neither was confident <laughs> enough to push in oh my on that man. last battle. We're going to get that tiebreaker match <laughs> going in just a moment. I believe it's going to be the first kill to win. We're going to have one tiebreaker match, and it'll be the first kill to win in that game. <laughs> that was insane. That, guys, that was insane. That was insane. Come on, seriously. Amazing. I, I can't even... Round of applause for these two guys. They just... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, these two players have uh, been fighting all tournament long, and, and if we look at who are the two most talented Halo 4 players in the world, it's no surprise that here they are playing against one another, fighting back and forth. No one even had a three-kill lead that match. Yeah, and, and, and the thing that was crazy, right, was that Ace just, he went right for it. He was just like, you know what? i got to make this happen right now, one way or another. And that, those are the moments that define you, right? And that definitely did so for Ace. And Pistola had the upper hand. He had the concussion rifle. He also right? had the height advantage. There. He had the height advantage as well, but that BR from Ace was just too much. And uh, there you have it. We have a tie. You know, we, we did so much planning for this, and a tie didn't even come up in my mind. I was like, I wonder, I wonder if a tie is going to happen. And Turns yeah, out that actually did. It did, and we're <laughs> going to have to get these two players. The station referees work with these players to get this next uh, match set up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and toss to an Xbox One uh, exclusive. You guys check out some new next-gen content. All right, Golden Boy, this has been an absolutely insane tournament, and now we're going to sudden death. First kill wins. That's right, guys. First kill. That's, I mean, uh, you can't get any crazier than that, man. I mean, and, and honestly, it's a tie. I mean, I, I have no more words. I'm done. Like, this is insane. Like, how do you. First kill wins for two hundred thousand dollars. That's right. insane. Yeah, we had the stakes have never been higher. Vegas can't top this, dude. This is insane. That, as we've said, one game, let alone one tournament, is, is, is insane for two hundred thousand dollars. But now we're looking at one kill. Oh man. Well, let's go ahead and once again talk about the players. First up, you know, I mean, we got to talk about Pistola, right? He had it in the bag, right? A couple seconds left, and he would have been able to make something happen. But unfortunately, that was not the case. Pistola, good concussion rifle usage, just not enough. Yeah, his updated stats right there, as you see, 338 kills and 210 deaths as of that last match. Kill keep, still keeps him at a 1.61 kill death ratio. That's right. And you know what? When you look at this, right, Pistola has been doing an amazing job of navigating around the map with this concussion rifle. But Ace is the guy who made it happen. It was, it was you know, 
do or die, and he did it. And with 376 kills, and of course 258 deaths, there you go, updated stats as well. He's gonna maintain his kill death ratio. It's just insane. Uh, you know, we've been saying the word insane constantly. I've been seeing it on the Twitter feed pop up because that word is probably the best one to describe it, but this is, this is such a cool event, man. I'm so stoked for this next match. Yeah, here at the Halo 4 Global Championship Finals, I mean, we have players compete from all around the world, uh, as well as Xbox Live across Germany, uh, and as well as a qualifier at RTX. Hundreds of competitors were remaining as we got here at PAX on Friday, and now we're only left with these final two and one kill to go. One kill. That's it. Like, and how do you how do you even make that encounter happen, right? Because it's not going to happen right away. Like, I, I know it's not going to happen right away. But is it going to come down to the concussion rifle? Is it going to come down to solid BR play? I don't know, but let's go ahead and hop into the action. All right, let's go ahead and hop into that gameplay right now. Of course, as you said, Golden Boy, those players are going to be real careful as they push your country's concussion rifle bottom middle. This is it. This is madness. This is madness. And here we go, guys. First kill wins. That's it. And Golden Boy, I tell you, I think it's going to take one player just getting one another player weak enough that they're able to push in. Look at Ace already pushing right towards his assault rifle, and now Pistola with top middle control. Yeah, this is actually a very smart play by Pistola, but here we go, the encounter right away. Is Pistola going to drop back? He's going to be full shield. He's going to have no shields left. Oh my, is he going to be able to get away from this one? He's flying oh. in. Pistola's out to run away. Oh, he oh juked my. him. He juked him. But Ace, Ace has oh a concussion my rifle. You see the focus on Pistola's face. He got hit with not one, but two grenades as he was weak, but somehow stays alive. How do you do that? How do you manage to stay alive from not one, but two? And now Pistola looking around, navigating top mid. Ace with that concussion rifle in hand. Guys, this is probably the most intense situation I've ever casted in my career. And for $200,000, I'm standing. And let's see here. We have... Ace actually navigating around. Pistola still. Top mid. He finds him. He finds him in his sights. Now he's actually going to engage. Concussion going down. Nate's actually out there. And Ace is actually going to have barely any shields left. Pistola going in for the encounter. Oh, and they're going to find each other they're right, gonna here. Find each right here. Pistola knows that Ace is there. Oh my god. Pushes in. Let's see if they can just stay on the concussion rifle. Pistola pushes in. Ace can finish. Let's see. Ace with the upper hand. And Ace makes it. $200,000 winner here today. Win. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. we have a winner. Ace is your Halo 4 Global Champion. And $200,000 richer, ladies and gentlemen. That's his brother right there. Unbelievable. That's right. Oh, man. Ace joined on stage right there by longtime Halo player and brother Elamite. And now we have Jessica Chobot standing next to a newly rich man. so much. This means everything to me. I've been playing Halo since I was nine years old. But I have to say, good games to Pistola. That was really the most intense match I've ever been a part of in my entire life. I just can't believe this. I feel like I'm dreaming. Dude, just start screaming. I don't even know why you're being calm right now. Give me one good one. Just, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> $200,000. Dude, I pulled like a hamstring watching that. God, that was the whole insane, place did. Man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, thank you guys so much for all being here right now. Round of applause for all of you for the first ever Halo 4 Global Championship. A new champion has been named, and he is $200,000 richer. Ace is a very happy man right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Thank you to everyone at 343 Industries. Our musical guests, Mega Ran and Kay Murnock, Maluka, Sarah Fletcher, my co-host, co -host Blair Herter, and awesome correspondent, Jessica Chobot. Play-by-play, -play, Andy Bravo Dudinsky, and Alice Goldenboy Mendez. Yes. Most of all, thank you, you, the fans who have made this all possible. Have a great night. Congratulations to our new champion, and we'll see you on Xbox Live. Good That's night, right. everybody. Big round of
expect it to be just a bloodbath. After today, I knew coming in today, I needed to make it to that final eight. On Sunday, those will be the final eight players on the main stage, live stream. In trailer, they most. Go home.